town. I'm bored and that's not fun. I want to get away, but I'm too tired to run. I'm gonna find a place where there are no rules and the world is wild. I have the tools to make things happen and the reaction will explode. Every time you celebrate one of these special days, something bad happens. It does? Like what? Happy Flag Day! I've got flags for everyone! Happy Arbor Day! I've got trees for everyone! Happy April Fool's Day! I've got practical jokes for everyone! Todd, it's true. We must celebrate these special days! We must, we must, we must! Because today is Valentine's Day. And how do we celebrate love, Todd? Huh, Todd? Huh, huh? Daddy! I don't know, some hearts and chocolate? You know, it's simple and painless. Yes, but love isn't simple, Todd. It's complicated! You can't just wave a flag or plant a tree or laugh at someone getting zapped by a joy buzzer and then tripping over a rope and then landing on a whoopee cushion. <laughs> Enough with the funny memory! Well, if the hearts and chocolates aren't dramatic enough for you, you can always have someone dress up like Cupid and shoot arrows at us. Oh, please. Been there, done that. <sighs> it seems I just can't do enough for this special day of love. Maybe it is just too complicated, Dana. You know, it's not like you can force people to fall in love. Force people to fall in love. Of course! That's a great idea, Todd. This Valentine's Day, I'm gonna find two people and do every single thing I can to force them to fall in love. Let me just get my power tools. <sighs> now, who should it be? Hmm. Nope. Nah. Uh-uh. <sighs> Coven leader calling Raven. Target garbage can. Over. Roger. Ooh, a lucky penny. You dropped your butt arrow. What? That's not my butt arrow, whatever that is. Here, you take it. Oh, uh, Todd, for me? That's so sweet. Oh. I think I found the perfect couple. Walls moving again? Dana, why are you pushing my desk? I'm not pushing your desk. You're being moved by the power of love. No, it's not the power of love. It's you. How do I know this? I can see you. You are right there on the floor pushing my desk. There. Happy Valentine's Day. Hi, Todd. Ah, don't hit me. Hit you? When have I ever hit you? Ow! 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 Are you in love yet? No, of course not. Oh, don't worry. You will be. You two just need to be closer. Hey! 
too close, too close. Ah. Ah. Was that my back? No, Todd. That was the sound of your heart breaking for Mauritia. What a cute couple. Raven calling coven leader. Come in, coven leader. Did you forget to take me down? Hello? Help! Someone help! Hey, what's with the shouting? Who are you? Wait, no, 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 don't tell me. I know. You're my guardian angel. You're what? Guardian angels protect people. That means I can do anything when you're around and you'll save me. I got it. I can jump off a tree and you'll save me, right? Um, I don't know about that. I'm like this Valentine's Day guy. Yeah, whatever. Okay, here I go, Guardian Angel. Come now and save me! You saved me. Thank you. Um, you're welcome? Hey! Now, class, today we're going to study a foreign language. Does anyone know what language they speak in France? Portuguese. Very good, Stephen. In Portuguese, the word for window is janela. So, if I said, everyone look at the janela, where would you turn? What the? Very good. Now, what if I said porta? Ow! Very good. The door spoken like a true Parisian. Let's try it faster this time. Janela, porta, janela, porta, janela, porta, janela, porta, janela, porta. Janela. Ah! Mrs. Jules, Todd pulled my ponytail. No, I didn't. I was just holding it when her head moved. Todd, no, no, puss our su ponytail. Oh, excuse me, I meant to say, Todd, no pulling her ponytail. But it was an accident. An accident we call love. Really? No. No, it wasn't an accident. Or no, you're not in love. Y yes, no, I mean. See, Todd, love really is complicated. But I understand it. By pulling Mauricia's ponytail, I think you finally found a way to express your feelings for her. The way she expresses her feelings for you, by punching you. Huh? It's a good thing you two have finally worked it all out. Now we're getting somewhere. No, that's not how it works. See, we're sitting so close and your hair was in my face, I was trying to stop it, so I grabbed it like this. Mauricia, please turn around and face La Maestra, which is me. Okay, Mrs. Jules. Ow! Todd pulled my ponytail again! What? No, I didn't. I mean, oops. Sorry, sorry, sorry. <laughs> Todd, that really hurt that time. It really hurt. Todd, if you pull her ponytail one more time, I'll have to circle your name and send you home on the kindergarten bus. Where you can think about your love for Mauricia. <sighs> hey, look! I'm a bird! Caw! 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 No! Stay away! Help! Put me down! You're giving me a wedgie! Todd! Todd, over here! Don't you want to pull me? Come on, pull me! Pull me now! Dana, what are you doing? Oh, I'm not Dana. I'm Mauricia's ponytail. And you know you want to pull me, don't you? Huh? No, I don't want to pull you. And you can't force me to fall in love, Ponytail. Then why'd you pull me before, Todd? We all know that's how you express your love for Mauricia. So give me a pull. No, look, she hits me, and now I accidentally pull her Ponytail a few times. We have nothing in common except, you know, pain. Love hurts, Todd. Now pull me! No, I'm not going to pull you it. I mean, nobody's hurting Mauricia, least of all you, Ponytail, Dana, whoever. <gasps> Ow! Todd pulled my ponytail again! Todd, that hurt so much! But I, I, Dana did this thing, and the Ponytail said it wanted to be pulled. I was just trying to protect you, really. Todd, 
That is the worst lie I've ever heard. Uh. Help! Somebody help! I'll save you. Don't worry, Guardian Angel. It's my turn to save you. Todd! Todd! Stop! I was just running out here to say... I know about everything, Todd. About the desk, the ponytail, and how Dana was forcing you to fall in love with me. You do? And I know you were just trying to help. But, Todd, I don't hate you. And I don't want you to... You know, be forced into whatever. Thanks. Um... Don't worry, Guardian Angel. We'll protect each other. <laughs> yeah, did she really think that getting you to pull my ponytail would somehow bring us both together? I mean, that's ridiculous. Yeah, ridiculous. <laughs> 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 You've done it again, Guardian Angel. Thank you. Um, you're welcome again? Well, I better get going. Okay, see ya. Another Valentine's Day trial. I can't wait for safe. Milk for lunch. Sorry to be late, Mrs. Jules. I got stuck at the. Where's Mrs. Jules? Faculty retreat. We're getting a substitute while all the teachers spend the day in the principal's office discussing important school matters. Topic A for discussion. How low can you go? Everybody limbo! <laughs> Again. The kids can hear everything! Kids, Midge, who cares, Lewis? It's a faculty retreat! Woo -hoo -hoo -hoo! Limbo, limbo, everybody! Limbo, limbo, everybody! Limbo, limbo, everybody! Limbo, limbo, uh, everybody! Never mind, Mr. K. Woo -hoo -hoo! Woo -hoo -hoo! Yeah! Principal Kidswater, I was looking at the list of substitutes assigned to all the classes, and it seems like you made a mistake with my class. Um, so what now? Our substitute should arrive any second. It takes them longer to get here since we're on the top floor. Hey, I hear the teacher coming. <laughs> Todd, shh! The teacher's talking! What? You guys think that's our substitute? Do you see any other teachers around here? Well, no, but that's a cow. And there are cows all over Wayside. And none of them has ever entered a classroom before. Oh, yeah. 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 It says her name is Mrs. Bellamy. Good, Good morning, morning, Mrs. Mrs. Bellamy! You've got to be kidding. Welcome to class, Mrs. Bellamy. I don't know if Mrs. Jules left you her lesson plan, but I always keep a spare photo reproduction of it in my binder. I retyped and reorganized it for her and even scented it with Mrs. Jules' favorite aroma, Smelly Meadow. <laughs> Enough of the fun! I like where you're going with this, Mrs. Bellamy. No more lesson plans or structured learning. This is so wrong. Todd, 
Do what the teacher says, or she'll put your name on the discipline list and send you home on the kindergarten bus. She can do that? I know this is crazy, but I really can't afford to take any chances. Principal Kitswater! Oh, today I'm not Principal Kitswater. Today I'm Principal Party Animal! Woo! Okay, but I'm still a little curious about the substitute teacher situation in my class. Now, if I could just go up there and check on the... Uh, oh, what do you call them? Little monkey-like people. Students! Yes, them. What? And leave the party? Uh, I mean, uh, the faculty retreat? No way. Everything's fine. Trust me on this. Hey, let's all try a trust-filling exercise. It'll be fun! Here's how it works. I close my eyes, lean back, then I trust you to catch me. Like this. Close my eyes, lean back, and... No, no, no. That's not how it works. It's a game of trust, because I trust you to catch me. Now, let's try it again. I close my eyes, lean back, and... Okay, this time for real. Close my eyes, lean back, and... Close my eyes, lean back, and... Close my eyes, lean back, and... Psst, Dana. Not now, Todd, unless you're done eating your textbook. Done? I've eaten more of this book than I've read. I know. We all have, Todd. Isn't Mrs. Bellamy a wonderful teacher? She's eating a box of pens. Todd, stop being so critical. What do you know about alternative education, anyway? Actually, a lot. My old school had a bunch of alternative classes. The teachers were always trying to get us to think about stuff and write about our feelings. Really? That is alternative. What do you think of that, Mrs. Bellamy? See? She waved her pen. She must want us to write about our feelings, too. This is ridiculous. Mrs. Bellamy, may I be excused to go to the bathroom? Why am I talking to a cow? Oh, my. Teacher, coming through. Hmm. It's not easy writing about your feelings when you have so many of them. <gasps> I should organize them first. I'll call this my flippy file of feelings. This card says, sunshine, happy. This one says, tummy aches, sad. <laughs> Dana, this is crazy. How much longer are we gonna let this teacher, I mean, this cow, this whatever, how long are we gonna let her run our class? Flippy file of feelings says, disapproving glare for Mr. Fun Pooper. A fun pooper? What's that mean? I like fun. It's just this cow and... Do you really think I'm a fun pooper? <laughs> hey, Todd. I wrote about all my feelings. How about you? What you thinking? Is it about me? No. But I was just wondering about something. See, I need things to make sense. And a class taught by a cow, that doesn't make sense to me, does it? I mean, am I really a fun pooper? Oh yeah, a big time fun pooper. But I still like you. <laughs> M -m -m Mrs. Bellamy's leaving! Favorite teacher leaving. Start weeping now. What about Mrs. Jules? <laughs> Turn back! It's too dangerous! I must check on my monkeys! I mean, students! <laughs> Cherie, I don't think I've ever seen you awake in class before. Steven, I don't think I've ever seen you take off your Halloween costume. It's because of Mrs. Bellamy. She inspires me so. No more elf ears! Yay! Oh, uh, Mrs. Bellamy? I, uh, I can't explain it, but our, our class, it's, it's now so different. 
everyone seems so much more awake and confident, even more well-balanced emotionally. Some are even kinder. I mean, for the first time ever, Mauricia had a chance to punch me before, and she didn't. Mrs. Bellamy, somehow you really made a big difference around here. Before, I thought you were just some cow that wandered into our class. But now I realize you're a cow that wandered into our hearts. file to realize this is the saddest moment of my life. It's like even the sky is crying. Mrs. Jules! Class, I was so worried about you. Ah, uh, we were fine. We had the best substitute teacher ever. Right, Todd? Yeah, even I have to admit it. That Mrs. Bellamy was pretty amazing. Mrs. who? Mrs. Bellamy. Our substitute teacher. Don't you know her? Class, the reason I was so worried is because I saw the principal's list of substitute teachers, and he forgot to hire one for our class. What? No way. You mean Mrs. Bellamy wasn't actually our substitute? Oh, no. What'd she look like? She was a cow. Todd, no talking about any teacher like that. I'm writing your name on the discipline list. What he's trying to say is... We missed you, Mrs. Bell. I mean, Mrs. Jules. How sweet. So, what did you kids do while I was gone? Ow! Todd, no wiping your name off the discipline list. I'm sorry, you'll have to go home on the kindergarten bus. Uh, but, Mrs. Jules. The kindergarten bus it is. It's good to have you back, Mrs. Jules. Yay! Okay, last time I close my eyes, I lean back and... Hey! You caught me! <laughs> have you ever thought of teaching? Jules, we're over here. You asked us to bring in our favorite pet today. 
We put them in our seats so they could all get to know each other. <laughs> Enough of the fun! Oh, yes, of course. Now I remember. I see so many nice pets. A dog, a frog, a skunk, a goat, a snake, a duck, a sheep, a turtle, a porcupine, a chicken, and two little monkeys. Oh, and what's this over here? Oh, that's my baby brother. His name's Fido, but don't worry, he won't bite. Oh, what a lovely lizard. That's my pet, Orange. His name is Red. I keep him in a cage so he won't escape. Coochie, coochie, coo! That's very responsible. <laughs> and don't look now, but that monkey is eyeing Red. <laughs> Mrs. Jewel, that's Todd. Hmm. Todd, where's your pet? I don't have a pet, Mrs. Jules. What? You I don't, don't, don't have a pet? pet? Well, actually, I, I used to have a pet. His name was King Arthur. Was he a gorilla? <laughs> no. A calculator? No. A baby brother? Ah! Ah! He was a goldfish. Oh, oh a goldfish. goldfish. Great. So what happened to him? Well, my friend. I've always blamed myself for not taking better care of King Arthur. After that, well, I never felt right about taking care of another pet. Really? Well, a pet is a big responsibility. Mm -hmm. And to teach you about that responsibility, Todd, why don't I take the entire class out for a fun time on the playground while you stay here and watch all our pets? Yay! What? But, Mrs. Jules, I, I, I couldn't take care of one little fish without it dying on me. How am I going to take care of all these animals? Oh, you'll be fine. See ya. I don't think that's very responsible of you. You, 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 you. Okay, now, we're all going to relax. No sudden movements. Hey, is it cold in here? I think it's cold in here. No problem. I'll fix it. See? It's okay. I'm just being responsible. Closing the window. Nice and warm. Heel! Stay! No! Okay. I can do this. I am responsible. I am Tom! <laughs> so, what makes you think you're wayside material? Right all along, I really can't take care of a pet. I'm not responsible enough. Those poor, helpless creatures. What if they end up just like King Arthur? Todd, it is me. Don't give up. King Arthur? Todd, I have come to tell you that my death was not your fault. It wasn't? No. You always took good care of me. Some fish just don't last very long. Tell me about it. But, King Arthur, what should I do? Mrs. Jules put me in charge of taking care of everyone's pets, and I have failed them. Todd, animals and people are not that different. We all rely on our herds, our flocks, our schools of fish. Of course, schools of fish or schools of kids. I don't have to do this alone. I, I can get help from my friends. Great idea, King Arthur. Thanks. Uh, 
I am taught! Don't worry, little guys. I'm being responsible. Myron, over here. Oh, hello, talking fountain. So very nice to meet you. I'm not a talking fountain. I'm Todd. A talking fountain named Todd? What a coincidence. There's a kid in our class named Todd, but he's not here right now. He's watching all of our pets. Dana, Mauricia, help. And then all the animals escaped, and I need your help to recapture them. Wait a minute. Can you go back to the part with the flying goldfish? Don't worry, Todd. We can help. I hope Fido's okay. <laughs> okay. All we have to do is follow the simple, color-coded, multi-level PRC I just threw together. PRC? It stands for Pet Recovery Chart. We'll use the PRC to ID the TVD ASAP FYI. A OK? <laughs> Enough with the acronyms! Anyway, the chart is organized by species group. I'm handling mammals. Todd gets reptiles and amphibians, Mauricia, flying animals, and Myron? Track down all the fruit pets. And I shall. Oh, what a thrill to cross the deepest, darkest jungle, hunting that most dangerous and elusive of all nature's man-eaters. Actually, it's an orange, and it doesn't eat people. Maybe it doesn't eat you, but I'll be darned if it's gonna eat me. Now, I must think like my prey. Come on, let's catch us some pets. I'm just getting better at this. Nice work, Todd! The pets all seem so happy and well cared for and very well exercised. Did it help you learn anything about responsibility? I learned that a big part... Ah! My pet orange! He's all weird! <laughs> That's no orange. That's a banana! Uh. Not only that, but there's a big bite taken out of it. Uh. What? Don't look at me. You were in charge of fruit pets. Banana orange, what's the difference? Besides, it's not like I ate the whole thing. Todd, where's Steven's pet? Don't worry, Mrs. Jules. I'll find him. I'm responsible. Oh, I saw it in Mrs. Mush's kitchen. But don't worry, it was safe right next to the juicer. No! Oh, Todd, you just in time. I make fresh juice. No, that poor orange. Huh? Orange? I see funny round thing here next to Squisher, but I don't know what to do with him. Then what did you make the juice out of? Oh, I make basketball juice, doorknob juice, and this... I call Crunchy Couch Smoothie. Squisher, he not happy about that one. Do you mind if I take this? Sure, it no good to me. It's just like fish I buy. He useless too. You take? Hey, everybody, 
meet my new pet fish. I call him King Arthur the Second. Yeah! Oh, he's so cute! Isn't it fun to have a great pet? Yes, it is. But it's even better to have great friends. Tell me about it. It's my birthday, it's my birthday, it's my birthday. <laughs> Strange little people. It's my birthday, it's my birthday, it's my birthday, yeah, yeah. It's my birthday, it's my birthday, it's my birthday, yeah, yeah. Lewis! Lewis! You've got to help me! Sure thing, Mr. K. What you need? Have you noticed all these strange little people? The students? Let's not get technical here, Lewis. They're everywhere! <laughs> these little people are hiding something. Look, they keep giving me these strange, horrible looks. Mr. K, those are called smiles. Ha! Ah. I didn't get to where I am by letting weird little people just smile at me. I know they want to take me down, but I'm ready for them. If they're planning to come after this top dog, they better be ready to scratch some fleas. Ow! Thank you, Lewis. Hey, Dana, what's up with everyone today? Oh, we're just hiding something from Mr. Kid's water. What? No, don't, don't do that, little dudes. But it's a birthday card, and there's a big surprise party for him at the gym later. It's going to be the best day of the whole school year for him. This is the worst day of the whole school year for me. Of all the times to rise up and overthrow me, they have to do it on my birthday. But I'm not beaten yet. I can still defeat them. I need information. I need someone on the inside. A spy. But who? Todd, please line up to sign Mr. Kidswater's birthday card. Hey, why didn't anyone tell me it was Principal Kidswater's birthday? I would have loved to help with the card or maybe even plan some kind of party. Already taken care of, Todd. But you can sign the card if you want. Um, maybe later. Although I am sort of new here, I don't even think Kid Swatter knows my name yet. He still calls me by my address. 344 South Fairview. <laughs> what? Principal Kid Swatter is a brilliant man. He'd never do that. Attention, students, attention. Will 344 South Fairview please report to the principal's office? Wait, not the principal's office. I mean the third floor landing. Shh! And keep quiet about it. Thank you. Todd, didn't you hear the principal? Shh! Mr. Kidswater? It's me, 344. I'm in disguise. You are? But shouldn't a disguise involve some sort of fake mustache or wig? A wig? Good idea. I see you have some experience in this kind of work. What kind of work? Spy work, 344. Real top secret, hush hush, nudge nudge, undercover stuff. I need you to find out what these little people are up to. They're planning something, but I'm gonna be ready for them. And that's where you come in, 344. Or should I say, Agent 344? No, 344 is fine. I, I mean, my name is Todd. Exactly. Todd will be your secret code name, Agent 344. But it's my real name. Right, I get it. Wink, wink. 
Now, Todd, I can trust you because you're new here at Wayside. You haven't been here long enough to really fit in. I haven't? But I have lots of friends at Wayside. Oh, don't kid yourself. Why, some people around here don't even know what your name is, 344. <laughs> Todd. Yes, and in your role as Todd, you will tell me everything you can about this so-called surprise they're planning, so I can surprise them! <laughs> now, I must slink into the shadows. Stupid shadows. Can't see a thing. Oh, 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 no, going Okay, do we all have a job to do for Mr. Kidswater's surprise party? We've got balloons! We've got the confetti! And since Principal Kidswater is so sweet, I'm making a statue of him out of chocolate. Mmm, chocolate. Well, that takes care of everything. You guys look busy. Can I help? No. Oh, are you sure? Maybe you could use an extra hand? Nope. Uh, I could always decorate. Done. Ooh, what about the streamers? Finished. But thanks anyway. Really? This is my first surprise party here. I'd really like to help. You know, be included. Be part of the team. If you really, really, really want to help, I have the most super duper, incredibly important, fabulous, fantastic job for you. Awesome! I'll do it! Okay, hold this. And then? That's it. Just hold the binder. I thought you said this was important. It is important! That binder contains all our party plans. See ya! Hmm, I guess I was just out of the room at the wrong time, you know, when all of the good jobs were assigned. And I'm new here, so I didn't know about the birthday. But I'm still part of the gang, right? Okay, everybody, it's time to head to the gym. Attention, Todd. Please report to the principal's office. Now! Ah, thanks for the tip on the disguise, Agent 344. I mean, Todd. No one will know I'm the principal now. Uh, yeah. You know, I thought about what you said, Mr. Kidswatter, and maybe you're right. The kids kind of left me out. Maybe I don't really fit in here. Welcome to the Club 344. You're a lone wolf just like me, and lone wolves like us need to stick together. Stick together. Stick together. Yeah, but then we wouldn't be lone wolves anymore. <gasps> What's that? Information? Oh, this is just... Party plans. You've got to help me. Look at these attack schemes. Oh, party plans. Wow, some crazy tunes. To brainwash me with. Some balloons and ribbons. To tie me up with. Is that a cake? To poison me. The savages. They really went all out. I know. This place isn't safe. We need to hunker down. Someplace secure. Is the gym available? Hey, where are the lights? Ow! Stupid shadows. What's that? Who's there? Hit the lights, Myron. No, not that one. Oops, sorry. What do you want? You should know! You'll never take me alive! Surprise! Happy birthday! Hip, hip, hooray! Hideous expressions! They're called smiles, Mr. K. Remember? Enough with the forehead biting! Here, Todd, you hold it. Forehead biting? They are savages! I have only one ally in this whole school. Todd, where are you? Right here, Mr. Kidswater. Ah, 
Agent 344? With my head? I was wrong about you. You are one of them. I am? Yeah, of course you are, Todd. Why would you think otherwise? Alas, I am the only true lone wolf. Just a few more flights of stairs. Todd, thank you so much for helping us carry our principal up to the nurse's office. Stupid Guzak. You know, we couldn't have done this without you, Todd. Really? You mean that? <clears throat> of course, we're all part of one big family I call... Oh, uh, Mrs. Jules' class? <clears throat> Whose? Oh, I mean, yes, her class. <clears throat> Thank you, that's very sweet, Mrs. Jules. I should have never doubted it. I'm stuffed. Who wants to eat Mr. Kid Swatter's ear? Savages! 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 <clears throat> Going somewhere? Why, yes, Todd. I suspect I'll be transferred to Wayside's honors class today, once Mrs. Jules announces the results of our Wayside aptitude test. Or what, for short, W-A-T, what? When? No, not when, what? I know, I wasn't asking what, I was asking when. When what? When do we learn about the what test? What test, are we having a test? No, we already had a test. What test was that? The what test! Todd, there's no reason to yell. I'm not stupid. You'll see that as soon as Mrs. Jules reads the results of the what test. Say, when is she doing that anyway? I don't know. I guess we'll just have to wait for the what. <laughs> Enough with the pun. Hi, Todd. Hey, Mauricia. <laughs> Get your head out of the stars. Now, class, I have good news. The what results are in, and we have one very special student who scored so high, she will be transferred to Wayside's honor class today. Goodbye. Farewell. Adia. Um, Dana, the new honor student isn't you, 
It's actually Mauricio! What? There must be some mistake! I don't want to go to some stupid smart class. You should have thought about that before putting all the right answers on your brainy pants test. I didn't even try that hard. <gasps> uh... Honors class is right below us on the 29th floor. Good luck, Mauricia. And please don't step on Dana as you exit. I'll miss you guys. I really will. And I'll especially miss you, Todd. Hey, where's Todd? I'm over here. Just making sure the door doesn't hit you on the way out. Aw, that's sweet. Why would it ever do that? Miss Mush? <laughs> that Miss Mush PhD! <laughs> I'm not only run cafeteria, but honor class too! Miss Mush? Is he the only other student here? Oh, yes. He very smart, but dead. Yes, Sammy, you find radius of circle. It's on your head. <laughs> mm -hmm. <laughs> and now we find radius of square. I miss my friends. And they sound so happy. Dear, please sit down. But I have to get to that honors class. Class interference! Not, not listening not to the teacher. teacher. Ten yards. You know, you're not helping, Myron. Myron, not, not, helping. not helping. First down. I'll never make it past Mrs. Jules. There must be some other way to get down to that honors class. Dana, I have an idea how to get down there. But it's very complicated. You want to dig a big hole through the floor? Why not? It's something I've always wanted to try, like digging to the center of the earth. Hail Byron! Hail Byron! Hail Byron! Hail Byron! Hey, Myron! Hey, Myron! Let's get to work. Okay, we do science now, yes? Oh, Todd, I miss you. Say you make bunt cake. E stands for egg, M for milk, C for carbonium dichloride. It make yummy dessert. And explain origin of universe, no? Oh, please, tell me something I don't know. Miss Mush, I need to go to the bathroom. Yes, me too. But I wait. Sammy ask first. Um, but Sammy's dead. Then you go after Sammy, okay? But Sammy said I should go first. What? how he do that? He dead! He said it very, very softly. You have to get close to him to hear it. Really? Like this? A little closer. Closer. <laughs> now, can I go to the bathroom? What that? I know here I have dead rat in here. Exactly. Ah! Pick up the phone. Mauricia, why aren't you in honors class? I hate it down there. I want to come back. Sneak me in. No way. Last time anyone tried going in or out, Mrs. Jules tackled them. But I just want to be with you guys. It's not fair. And that's how the Wolfman and the T-Rex finally came together to form ancient Greece at the first Olympics. Are you sure you want to come back here? I miss all my friends. All my good times. All my... Todd. 
Are you... Are you crying? <laughs> I can't take another second in that stupid smart class, Todd. I hate it down there. I'm just so... Alone! <laughs> There, there. <laughs> oh, Todd, you always know just the right thing to say to me. I do? So will you help me? Uh, okay. There, there. No, I mean getting out of the stupid smart class. Oh, well, that should be easy enough. If you really want to get out of the stupid honors class, maybe all you have to do is convince them that you're too stupid to be there. Okay, class, who is capital of Portugal? Oh, 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 Let me oh, see. Oh, oh, you oh, with hand oh, poking oh, up oh, like oh, shish kebab oh, stick. The capital of Portugal is pickle butter. Huh? Pickle butter? He capital of Portugal? I don't know. But I like butter very much. A plus. You hear that, Sammy? 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 Sammy! Oh! Ah, he Kapinski'd off again. I don't know what to do with him. Okay, next question. Square root 144, what is? Elephant! Oh, I cook elephants do once. It's very filling. <laughs> Ooh, steady jumbo. <laughs> Another A plus. Okay, next question. How you spell potato? Yes, you, the new kid. Potato. <laughs> that your answer? Yes, Miss Mush. I hope it wasn't too stupid for your honors class. No, it's genius. You, too smart for honor class. I promote you to special Double honor class! Upstairs! But, but, wait a minute. You mean upstairs? Mrs. Jewel's class? <sighs> there, done. Sky, it's falling right, Sammy! Ooh. Hey, where's Mauricia? All I see is Miss Mush running around with a dead rat stuck in her ear. Hey, everybody! Hi, Hi Mauricia. Mauricia. You are not allowed here. Go back, Brainiac. This is no honors class. No, but it's a double honors class. Check this out. You mean Mrs. Jules' class is actually a double honors class? Yup. Go figure. Who knew? I'm not just in the honors class. I'm in the double honors class. Woohoo! Oh, thank you, Mauricia. Oh, don't thank me. Thank Todd. If he hadn't inspired me to stupid my way out of the smart class, we never would have found out how smart we truly are. <gasps> truly smart, truly smart. <laughs> Thank you, Todd. Thank you, Todd. Thank you, Todd. Oh, it was nothing. Oh, it's nothing, it's nothing, it's nothing. <gasps> and I never would have been able to get back to my friends. Oh, my friends, my friends, my friends, my friends. <laughs> and back to my Todd. There, there. <laughs> Boy for honor class. No, I, I'm not supposed to be here. Help! Aww. Your brother is so cute. His face is so round. Oh, he's so sweet. Myron's got a new baby brother? Wait, that's not a baby. It's a head of cabbage wrapped inside a blanket. Okay, everyone, look over here. Smile. No, Todd. Actually, it's part of our new campaign for class president. Haven't you ever seen this guy? This is one of Myron's favorite politicians. The guy always gets his picture taken kissing a baby. And he always wins his elections. Okay, I get it. Kiss a baby, take a picture, win an election. But you've already taken the photo, right? So then... What's with Myron? Coochie, coochie, coo, Leafy. <laughs> yeah, I know. 
I didn't count on him getting so attached to Leafy. I just hope Miss Mush doesn't notice anything missing from her kitchen. La -dee -dee. And now I finish special cabbage salad with super secret ingredient I call cabbage. Close now to my cutie wooty leafy guy. He doesn't have all his shots yet. Do baby brothers usually lose leaves? That's just one of his baby leaves. Tonight we'll put it under your pillow and you'll get a dollar from the leaf fairy. Yoo-hoo! Let's celebrate our families with a project about our many brothers and sisters. Yeah! Oh, Mrs. Jules, I don't have any siblings. Todd, who said anything about siblings? I'm talking about brothers and sisters. Yeah, that's kind of the same thing. It is? Well, great. Then you can do the project, too. Write an essay, draw a picture, or make a video about your siblings. And Myron, you are excused from the project so you can spend as much time as possible with your adorable <laughs> brother, Leafy. Come on, Leafy, let's play. La 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 As for the rest of you, I want to see a project that really expresses the fullness of each of your families. And don't worry, it will only count for 90% of your class grade this year. 90%? Can't we just take a really super hard math test instead? <laughs> <laughs> you are a pistol, Todd. <laughs> Can you believe some of these projects? Yeah, they're pretty wicked. Cherie even made a video. Warning, do not attempt these stunts. These stunts are performed by trained professionals. The following opinions expressed are solely the opinions of Sherry Productions. Wow, that had some serious production values. I'm feeling a little pressure here. Really, Mauricia? You too? Yeah, I have such a big family, I have to cut some out. Yeah, that's my problem too. Giant family, huge. I hate being an only kid. Okay, Leafy, keep your eye on the ball. Leafy, I'm so sorry. I played too rough. Say something. I can't believe you were excused from the project for this. Leafy, your first words, and already a complete sentence. Aha, uh -huh. I know you. You from super secret ingredient. I avenge you, yes? Ha-ha! <laughs> I follow trail to boy with baby. And other boy. He have no baby. Too bad for lonely, lonely boy. Lonely? Oh, how cute. Baby brother look just like you, but greener. Ha-ha! Uh -huh. Cabbage nearby! I rescue continue! <laughs> Myron, I think it's time to return you know what to you know who. You know what? I don't know who you're talking about. Well, you've all worked very hard on your family projects. Yes, Mrs. Jules! Who would like to go first? 
Mine is a story, 20 years in the making. An epic tale of hardship and sorrow. A family facing adversity, yet keeping their sense of hope. So, I guess you're going first. Well, since I'm already up. Back away from my choo-choo train, said my little brother Billy to my half-sister Wendy. But did Teddy really want the last one? Alas, she was just one of 17 So, our... the expired movie pass. Not according to my home. middle sister, Carrie. In order to answer that question, you need to know Are the, the real reason they haven't talked in three years. And that concludes chapter one. Very, um, detailed, Dana. <laughs> now, tomorrow we will hear from Mauricia and, let's see, Todd. Great. Can't wait till tomorrow. You're so lucky, Myron. Leafy is such an adorable baby brother. Aha! A super secret ingredient. Anybody see he go by here? Nope. Who? Uh-uh. Oh, baby brother, he growing up. Maybe it's time to change diaper. Wow, he really is growing up and he's getting mushy. I think it's time to put Leafy back in the refrigerator. What? <gasps> no, no. Todd, what a horrible thing to say. What? Leafy's wilting. How much longer do you think he can last? What's this really about, Todd? Yeah. What's your problem, Todd? I don't have a problem. It's Leafy. Myron has to realize that his freshest days are behind him. It's okay to be from a small family, or even be an only child. Myron's not an only child. He has three brothers at home. I wasn't talking about Myron. Then who were you talking about, Todd? Me. I'm talking about me. Why? Is everything about you? I thought we were talking about Myron. Yeah, Todd. This is very confusing. Perhaps you should ask one of your brothers or sisters for help. Well, I guess that's everybody. Phew. Except for Todd. I just need a moment to get some stuff ready. Be right back. Think, think, think. What am I gonna do for this project? Hey, Myron, is everything okay? No, Todd, it's not. It's not okay. It's Leafy. Yeah, it looks like he's not doing so well. Don't say that. You never really liked him. You're just jealous. Me? Jealous of some fake brother? Why would I want a phony sibling? Wait a minute. Okay, my family. This is a picture of me, and here's another one of me, and behold, my baby brother, um, Cabbage. What? I got you. Me? No, that's my brother. I just called him that because, well, no. it worked for Myron. Let go. This no cabbage. It just rolled up paper. You tried to pass that off as salad? Actually, I tried to pass it off as my brother. No way. You sick. You very sick. Todd, why'd you do it? Why? I, because, well, Mauricia has six brothers, Dana has like a million siblings, and Myron has three brothers and a cabbage. Oh, I get it. You don't have any brothers or sisters. Well, that doesn't mean you're alone. It doesn't? No, of course not. Look around you. You have all of us. You're friends. You don't need some cheap rolled up paper trick to feel like part of a family. Wait a minute. Is that my project? Wow, that's really nice. If I ever actually had a brother or sister, I'd want them to be just like you guys. Here, Todd. You need this more than I do. Some rotting cabbage? Say hello to your new brother, Leafy. Um, thanks. Smile!
so cool and crazy and wild and upside down. I'm bored and that's not fun. I want to get away, but I'm too tired to run. I'm going to find a place where there are no rules and the world is wild. I have the tools to make things happen and the reaction will explode. Students, National Double Homework Month is officially over. Yay! Good news, students. Triple Homework Month commences. Aww. Worse news, students. The Wayside Tetherball Squad is on a losing streak. Back in the day, we rule the pole. <laughs> Just look at this photo, children. Impressive, isn't it? So I thought to myself, what better way to inspire our team than to show them the moves that won my tether triumph? <laughs> Dynamite! <laughs> Ow! Wasn't that a wonderful demonstration to watch, class? Mrs. Jules? How can we see something that we're only hearing on the PA speaker? It's elementary, my dear Todd. You must look very closely. Mrs. Jules, Todd is right. If we want to win, we need to be inspired by someone we can actually see. <gasps> like a colorful mascot. A colorful was a what? A mascot. <laughs> it's an animal costume or a character designed to inspire fans. They can make you laugh at losing, or cheer you to the championship glory. Yes, we need a mascot to take us to the next level. Someone unafraid of the shameless praise and applause that comes with the job. Someone who can lead us to leadership. Go, Myron! You mean, go team! Go what? I know who inspires me. Don't you think Todd would make a great mascot, Fluffy? I think Todd would make a wonderful mascot. Me? I'm not an animal or a funny character. Plus, I don't know how to inspire people. I mean, I'm not some guy who can just stand up in front of a bunch of people and tell them exactly what to do. So put that idea right out of your mind, people. Yeah! Sit down now. Why, just the name Todd brings out my inner warrior. Todd! Sorry, guys, I can't do it. You need someone who's larger than life. That's not me. I'm just Todd. He's right. He is just Todd. And it's probably for the best. <laughs> Is that supposed to be me? Oh, no, of course not, Todd. That's our new school mascot, Todd. Big Head Todd inspires me so. Give me a W! W! Give me a Z! Z! That's not me. No, but it's someone who's like you, but bigger, louder, and larger than life. It was your idea, remember? What? That's ridiculous. 
And how come I have no arms? I ran out of paper mache building the giant head so my arm could fit inside it. Laces! Okay, now win that tetherball game! Yay! Just breathe through your mouth, or rather, my mouth. <gasps> You're really doing a great job out there, Todd. Uh, big head, Todd. Uh, Myron? Water! Must drink! We actually might win the international championships now. I don't think I could have ever inspired us to do that. <clears throat> it's weird. I kind of even admire you, Todd. <sighs> I wish I was you, Todd. Not because you're cool and famous, but because you have hands. Big Head Todd! There you are. With the championships coming up, I think we really need to make your cheering stunts more challenging. In this, Todd? I have no arms, and it's lined with chicken wire. You can't disappoint the fans over some severe pain and discomfort. That's just not the Big Head Todd way! Ah, such is the price of fame. Yeah! Yeah! Hooray! Oi, oi, oi! Go, Motherland! Oh, I no can believe my home country come here to play leather balls. I'm so excited, Sammy! Greeting! Bleh! Do you do, comrade? Do nothing! It's a blowout! I'm just so proud of these whatchamacallits. Dana wants me to step up my game, huh? This triple sow cow front summy to a round off back handspring ought to do it! little man in there. I not realize it cost you me there. He just look like Dimitri. Dimi, Dimi, Dimi. No! It's true what they say. Fame is fleeting, and so, alas, are big head mascot costumes. We're gonna lose. We're gonna lose. We're gonna lose. Oh no! What are we going to do without Big Head Todd? Oi! Oi! Oi!
No! I'm not the Todd you want! The Todd you want has an oversized head and no arms. Dana, I can't do this. I don't know how to cheer or do big head acrobatics. All I can do is be myself. All we ever wanted in the first place, Todd. Yay! Okay, I guess I could try. Go team. Yay! What understated confidence. This Todd doesn't need fancy flips. He just needs this. Target I would make. Tag, you're it. I know who I'm going to tag. Me? Oh, Todd. Uh oh. No, I'm it. <laughs> Please, Todd, don't tag me. That would be oh so awful. You want to be it so badly? Here. I don't think so. Only I'm it. Me. I am it. What's up with him? Don't you get it? Myron is it. That makes him the most powerful kid on the playground. And you know how Myron is about power. I am in charge. I am it. Why don't we just pick someone else to be it? You can't do that. It's against the rules. Says who? Says me. The Honorary Wayside Rules Sheriff. And it's all here in my rule books. Whoa, these are all rule books? <sighs> Volume four of 36. The person who is it is the most powerful person on the playground. He or she is in charge and will decide who is next to be it. Most people accept being it as just part of the game. But Myron takes it a little too seriously. He who is it must be comfortable. <laughs> this is so not right. Hey, I know. I'll take the tag back. I call returnsies. I'm still it. Volume 23, section 472, paragraph 17. 
no returnsies. I love rules. Rules, rules, rules. Isn't it wonderful how there's a rule for everything? Do you mind? Hey, gotta wait your turn. Haven't you heard? I'm it. Remember the rules? There could be germs on the tap. Mm. Now take a drink for me. Glug, 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 glug. Ah, refreshing. Ooh. He's it, remember? 847, 848, 840. Uh, rules! Sorry, girls. The boys' room's just too far today. Those are the rules. Make way. Coming through. I can't watch him treat us this way anymore. Is that so? Well, Todd, if you don't want to watch, pull your shirt over your head. What? You know the rules. Hmm? Mrs. Jules! Todd, did I hear you were breaking a rule? Do I have to write your name on the discipline list? Ugh. Ow! Now this Julius Caesar guy, he knew how to be it. Fortunately, so do I. More grapes! Yum, yum, yum. Where's my entertainment? Mrs. Jules, can't you do anything about Myron? Sorry, Todd, I'm staying out of this. He's it. And as a teacher, I must follow the rules too, even the rules of tag. Lord Myron, may I be excused? Dana, Myron's really out of control. You're the only one who can stop him. You're the sheriff of rules. You're talking about rebellion. Dance, dance. This is kind of normal, right? Besides, rules are rules. Ah, that's better. Dana, what will it take to convince you? What will it take? Hey, what are you up to? Nothing. I'm certainly not plotting a rebellion against you. Oh, you're up to something, all right. I'd say you're up to four feet. How dare you be taller than he who is it? Eric, Eric, Eric! Make me taller! Use those books over there! What are you doing? Those are the rule books! So? 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 Using rule books that way is a violation of Section 6, Subchapter 17, Paragraph 2. In case you've forgotten, I'm it. Whatever I say goes! You wouldn't be it if it weren't for those rule books. Hmm. <gasps> What are you doing? You're just going to make Myron angrier. Exactly. Watch. Oh, Myron. Huh? More books. More books. Higher. I must go higher. Aha! Myron, stop it. No one can stop me, because to do that, you'd have to break a rule. And you can't do that. It's against the rules. See how that works? Uh, must break rule. Can't break rule. Dana, you can do it. You can break a rule. I believe in you. See how easy it is? Hey, put that back on! You broke a rule. Start with an easy one. Here, have a grape. No eating my grapes! Dana, give me that bag! Catch! <gasps> See, Dana, you can't break a rule, but I'll make it easy on you. From now on, no more rules! Dana, the rule book? No more rules, no more rules, no more rules! <laughs>
No more rules. No, Myron. You can't have it. What? You have to do what I say. I'm it. R remember the rules? What rules? Uh-oh. Myron, come back here and tag me. Oh, sorry. Whoa. before you wanted to be it. Now look at us. We're fighting. We never used to fight. I got so wrapped up in the rules, I forgot the most important rule. Be good to your friends. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah, be good to your friends. And uh, I'm still your friend, aren't I? You're my best friend, Myron. From now on, I won't just be it. I'll be a better it. Come here and give me a hug, my bestest best friend. Uh, did I just... Did he just... Yes! He tagged me! I am it! What? No! You did that on purpose! Well, yeah. Sort of. No fear! Hey, it was for your own good. But if it makes you feel any better, I meant everything I said before, best friend. <sighs> Me too. All right. Now, as my one and only act of being it, I declare that all Wayside Rules are back in play! <gasps> Did I just...? Nice going, Dana. Now the cow is it. Myron, you know the rules. We only speak its language now. What I meant to say is... Moo, 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 moo. Moo, 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 moo. Hey, best friend to 
you. Wow, that is the best handshake I've ever seen. Cause we're the best best friends you've ever seen. And only the best of best friends do a best friendly best friend handshake like that. Isn't it the best best friend? Yeah, the bestest. <laughs> Don't tell me, enough with the fun. <laughs> You know, I don't think I've ever seen two people get along as well as you two. That's not surprising, Todd. The simple fact is, I'm incredible and amazing. My own awe-inspiring greatness inspires awe and even me. Dana's lucky to have found me. I am? Well, Myron, you're lovably shameless and fun, but I actually think you're lucky you found me. What? You? But I'm the one who's sometimes class president. And who runs your campaigns and covers for all your clumsy mistakes? I thought you loved covering for my so-called mistakes. That's what makes our friendship work. Maybe for you, but for once, I'd like you to cover for my mistakes. Oh, yeah? Well, I would if you ever made any mistakes, Miss Perfectly Perfect Person. <laughs> Uh. And what's wrong with being perfectly perfect? It's so perfectly boring and predictable. <gasps> How's that for predictable? As for you, Myron, you're rude and ungrateful. And I can't understand why I would ever consider an elf like you to be my best friend. Hey, I'm no elf. I said oof. Elf, oof, whatever. I'm not your best friend anymore. <gasps> Fine. Well, then I'm not your best friend anymore. <gasps> yeah? I'm finding a new better best friend to be my new better bester best friend. I better get myself a new best friend. See what you've done? What? All I did was compliment your great friendship. I didn't know that'd make you guys stop being friends. Ah, uh, he'll be back. He'll never find anyone to be his best friend. <laughs> oh, Cherie! <laughs> That's the funniest thing I've ever heard. I'm so glad you're my new better best friend. Is he kidding? <laughs> Cherie's always asleep. <laughs> Good one, Cherie. You're so funny. Myron, this is such a desperate attempt to make me feel jealous. But it's not working. You can't be best friends with someone who is always asleep. Cherie doesn't think that's a problem. Right, Cherie? Uh... Yeah, I know. Dana's just being mean. At least you're not mean to me, Cherie. That's because she's asleep. Shh, Dana. Cherie's sleeping. I know! Now, if you'll excuse us... My new best friend, Cherie, thinks you should mind your own business. What? How do you know what Cherie thinks? Do you believe this, Todd? Well, if you ask me... You don't know what Cherie's thinking. Yes, I do. No, you don't. Yes, I do. No, you don't. Yes, I do. No, you don't. Face it, Myron. Do you think you'll ever be able to win an argument with me? No. I mean, yes. I mean... Oh. <laughs> okay, I'll prove it to you with this. Mrs. Jules' pencils? <sighs> Only a real friend would know. Not the pencils, the glass. Have you ever put an empty glass up against the wall? Listen, you can hear everything happening on the other side. Ooh, let me try it. Hey, Lewis. Check out the new Wizomatic 3000. Guaranteed to de-stress or your money back. And still for only nineteen ninety nine. Uh, Mr. Kitswater, have you read the instructions? No, I did not. Look at me, Lewis. I'm de-stressing. Ow! You're right. You can hear everything. The same thing works with Cherie's head. Uh-huh. Yeah. That's a great idea, Cherie. What? What'd she say? Sorry, I can't tell you. It's a secret between new best friends. Nice try, Myron. But two can play that game. With Mrs. Jewel's pencils? Todd will be my better new best friend. Dana, I'm awake. You don't really need the brain listening glass for me. 
What's that, Cherie? Yeah, I knew Miss Perfectly Perfect Person would try something like that, too. Come on, let's do some really fun stuff, better best friend. Ah, it's okay, Dana. I can walk. Finally, I can achieve inner peace out here in the schoolyard with my new Wizomatic. Now, how does this thing work? Hair piece, mantle piece, inner piece. It's refreshing. What do you want to do now, Cherie? Ooh, what's that? You want to do our special best friend handshake? What? Well, let me teach it to you. First, you do this, then this, then some of this, a bit of this, and then shake. friend shake. You can't just interchange best friend things like that. There are rules about these things. It's not right. Yeah, Cherie, I know. Dana's making up some dumb rule again. You, you, you've gone too far, Myron! Enough with the brainless and ah! Now how will you talk to your so-called better bester friend, Cherie? No! No! <laughs> Now then, I've made a few modifications, so my new Wizomatic 3000 will distress me even faster. And still for only $19.99. Uh-oh. <laughs> Myron, you could just get another glass, you know. Stay out of this, Todd. Okay. <laughs> oh, woe is me. Nothing will ever be the same again between Cherie and I. It's okay. There's no use crying over a broken brain listening glass. No, oh, what do you care? <laughs> well, for starters, I really hate to see you cry, Myron. Even if it is your fake crying. You can tell? Of course. Best friends always can. I mean, that is, if you still want to be my best friend. Again. You know, I have to admit, Cherie never really understood me the way you do, Dana. I mean, she's fine, but I always wish she could be as perfect as you. Aww. I feel the same way. I mean, Todd is okay. Thank you. But he's not nearly as clumsy and lovable as you are, Myron. Dana, you're the best. Let's never be mad at each other again. Deal. So you want to shake on it? <laughs> hey, best friend! Hey, best friend to you! <laughs> Shh! She's waking up! This actually works. Uh, 
Lewis? Anyone? Help me! Uh, little girl! Wake up! I I'm distressed! I'm distressed! Todd, as you know, today is Don't Answer the Teacher's Question Day. You leave me no choice but to send you home on the kindergarten bus. Ugh, not again. Eric and Eric. Now, son, how many times have I told you? It's done like this. Good morning, Principal Kid Swatter. Tiny people everywhere! Help! Who are you? What do you want? Why are you touching me? <laughs> We've been invaded by teeny tiny people! I must inform my superior, Colonel Montgomery. Todd, for some reason you look different today, but I can't figure out why. I can, Mrs. Jules. Todd came to class today with an army of little children who worship his every move. I did what? Good morning, King Todd! King? When did that happen? You saved Mr. Wetnose! He's my stuffy. We love our stuffies! And we love you, King Todd! Todd's a king? Todd! 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 <gasps> they Todd, even Todd, chant Todd, his name! Todd. Now, Todd, you know the rules. Did you bring a small army of little children for everyone in class? No, I don't think so. Well then, I have no choice but to write your name on the discipline list. I guess this chalk isn't working. Can someone go downstairs and get me more? How do I ever choose? Oh, 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 oh. Pick me, Mrs. Jules, pick me. Todd? I'd be happy to, Mrs. Jules. It's so nice to have royalty in the classroom. Wow! I've got to get me some of that king stuff. Todd, I think you're the cutest king I have ever seen. Ah! What? But if I can't punch Todd, how will he know I still like him? And if he doesn't know I still like him, how will he carry on? Everything is ruined! <laughs> What are you guys doing? Protecting you! We love our king! I don't need protection from my friends. Why would you need friends when you have us? <laughs> Look, this is too much. I'm flattered to be your king and all, but you're not letting me do anything. I couldn't even get a drink of water at recess. Want water? I hope you know how lucky you are, Todd. Some of us have to get our water the old-fashioned way. <sighs> this 
is getting creepy. We need to talk to Todd without those little kids bugging us. Come on, I've got a plan. Hey, Todd, how's it going? Okay, I guess. I'm just getting a little tired of having an army of teeny tiny people worshipping my every move. If you're getting too tired, Todd, I could fill in. You see, I was class president once. That's almost like a king. Sort of. Uh-oh. Nap time! <laughs> nice work, Mauricia. Mr. K, off to see Colonel Montgomery? Affirmative. At ease, Lewis. We need to find Todd. I've divided the school grounds into a complex search grid. If my calculations are correct, we should be able to pinpoint Todd, His Highness, in a mere 10.7 hours. Myron, you take quadrants 2, L, and 7. Right. Quadrants L, M, N, O, P. Got it. And Mauricia, quadrants 4, S, 11. We'll keep in constant contact with these high-range walkie-talkies. Or we could just check out that giant castle made of kindergarten kids. Todd has his own castle? <sighs> Myron, can you read me? Come in, Myron. <laughs> Uh-oh. And the answer is Mauricia. Negative one. Correct. Stop! <sighs> is something ooey okay? Something's ooey, all right. This whole thing is ooey. I want my friends back. You don't need friends. When you have us. No, I don't want that. With my friends, it's hard to explain. There's give and take. I want give and take. Give and take. Give and take. Oh! You want us to give a cake! That's not what I meant. Pancake, pancake, baker's man. Make me a cake as fast as you can. Roll it, crack it, and mark it with a T. Okay, all we need is a simple disguise to get into that castle. Let's see. We can dress as a sumo wrestler or a pirate. How about an astronaut? Ooh. Ah, the perfect disguise. There, perfect. It should be me. Me, me, me. No fear, no fear. I want to be king. He doesn't cry like a big kid. He must be one of us, a big little kid. It's okay, big little kid. Yeah, Mr. Wet Nose will make it all better. Patty Cake, Patty Cake, Baker's Man. Todd! Myron, what are you doing here? Nothing. Myron, you've got to stay away from their stuffies. If you're not careful, they might make you their king. I know. That's the idea. No, it's not what you think. You don't want to be their king. Oh, yes, I do. I really do. Trust me, they'll never leave you alone, ever. Not for me. All hail Myron. Panic. I can still be your king. All we need is a little thread. And a lot of sticky tape. And maybe a chisel. Any of you guys good with heavy tools? Because my hands lay here just... I'm 
I'm so glad to see you guys. Really? But I thought, as the king, you got everything you wanted. And now, all you have is us. What? Are you kidding me? That's all I ever wanted. Aw, oh, Todd. Colonel Montgomery, where are you? There you are, Colonel. There's a big problem, but not anymore. I love my stuffy. And we love our stuffies, too! Good enough to eat? Say, so does this. Two apples missing? Check. Thirteen grapes gone? Check. And one banana? Check. Oh, this is just delicious. So sweet and juicy. Like my love for Todd. without the seeds. Those aren't seeds, Mrs. Jules. Those are my eyes. Aren't they honest and trustworthy? Perhaps even presidential. They kind of look like seeds. Really? Maybe we just need some more light in this classroom. Now, how can we get more light in here? Just turn on the light switch. The what? The light switch. The who witch? <sighs> Still doesn't get it. Myron wants to be class president, but the class president's only duty is to turn the lights on and off. Ah! Lightning indoors! Make it stop! Oh, maybe we just better clean up instead. That sounds like a perfect job for the class president. Hey, Myron, please be careful with that paint. Lewis just installed new grass in the hallway. I didn't do it. You didn't? Hmm. Then who did? If I take the fall for this, they'll never make me class president. But who can I blame? Who? 
Myron. I'm waiting. It was... it was... uh... I cannot tell a lie. It was my twin brother, Normie. I'll go get him for you. Ooh, I need a costume and fast. Aha! <laughs> Mrs. Jules, it is I, Normie. Normie? Yes, my brother Myron convinced me to confess to my misdeed. Now, please, punish me and let my noble and virtuous brother Myron prosper like the great leader he is. Normie, you're like a breath of fresh air! He's a what? You simply have to meet the rest of the class. <gasps> but, but, what about Myron? Oh, don't worry about him. Class, I'd like you to meet Myron's twin brother, Normie! Hello. I'm sure you're all worried about my brother. I'll go find him. Myron never mentioned a twin brother before. That's because we're, ah, uh, hey, one of your skates is untied. Why, thank you. Safety first, that's Myron's motto. You don't look anything like Myron. Oh, Mom always says that Myron got the brains and the looks. <laughs> Really? I think you're kind of sweet. And cute! <laughs> Myron. Oh, no. I'm not Myron. I'm Normie. Here, let me help you back to sleep. Walk a measure on the school top. I'll sleep on the desk. Go ahead, will help pop. Oh, how sweet. He helps Sharif fall back asleep. Now she can do her best learning. Normie, you're great! Sit beside me! No, sit beside me! No, sit beside me! Normie! Sit here! Normie, here! Oh, sit next to me, Normie! Uh, sit beside me! Why don't I just sit at Myron's desk? I know my brother won't mind. Normie, you've got to be kidding me! Myron, what are you doing? Huh? Oh! Uh, Myron was just trying to stay out of trouble. Myron's going to get in more trouble when Mrs. Jules finds out. I mean, you are, not him. Because he's you. You're Myron. But look how popular Normie is. I always wanted to be as popular as him, even if it is just for a little while. How long is a little while? How about till graduation? Okay, fine. How about I stay Normie until after lunch? Then I'll change back. the best lunch ever. Yes, and now it's over, Normie. It's 1 p.m. Remember your promise? I've never welched on a promise. Never. <gasps> Did you see that? I don't believe it. Normie, your twin brother Myron has been trying to do that for years. In fact, he couldn't even say the name of that thing. Normie, you should be our new class president. Yeah! Normie from class! Normie! Normie, I mean, Myron, I know that look. I've seen it before. President? Yes, that would be nice. Normie! 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 Yay! Normie! 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 Oh, you're all so kind. And I really don't want to disappoint anyone. So, I'll do it. Yay! What a wonderful idea. We'll make him class president right now. Unless anyone wants to run against Normie. <laughs> <laughs> Mrs. Jules, I'd like to nominate someone for class president. Who? Myron. What are you doing? I am this close to becoming class president. Yeah, 
But you're lying to everyone. You're lying to me, and you're lying to yourself. That's a bad thing? Sorry, but you promised to bring Myron back. I'm just helping you out. No! Normie says Myron's not interested! Oh, really? Well, there's one thing I know Myron can never resist, and that's a class election. So let the debate begin! Debate? But how do I debate myself? I mean, Myron! I mean, what are we doing? I don't know, but you could always just tell everyone the truth. Quiet down, class. Quiet down. Normie, would you like to begin the debate with an opening statement? Yes, I would. May the best man win. Yay! And now, his opponent, Myron. All I have to say is, the best man is me. Hooray! Now, first question, Myron. What is the class president's most important duty? An excellent question. Everyone knows it's the class president's responsibility to, uh, turn on the... to ensure the... guarantee the... Oh! The class president keeps the ceiling from falling down. Normie, same question. Normie? Normie! Oh! Yeah! Thank you, Mrs. Jules. What are the duties of the class president? For me, I just love to help my classmates. Like this. Yeah! Normie, why don't you show us the only real duty of the class president? Why, of course. The class president, he... He, uh... Does the... Uh... Keeps the ceiling from falling down. Ah, uh, you win. <gasps> Myron? Where's Normie? There is no Normie. I am Normie. He's me. We just put on goggles and reversed my name. Myron, this is quite a surprise. You had us all fooled. Yeah, but that's okay. Since I'm actually both candidates for class president, that means I win, right? I guess you guys are pretty mad. Don't worry, Myron. I really like Normie, but I still like you. Especially the Normie parts of you. I hope you learned a lesson from this. I sure did. And that lesson is, don't count your chickens before they win. No, I think the lesson is more like, it's better to be yourself. No, that's not it. How about winning isn't everything, it's the only thing. It's better to just be yourself. A penny saved is a penny won? No, be yourself. You can lead a horse to water, but you can't make him win. Not quite. All good stories must come to a winning end? Um, no, not that either. Are you ready for the aquarium field trip? The aquarium? Really? Sounds fun. <laughs> but Mrs. Jules, I don't have any swimming gear, and I'm not sure why I'd need it at an aquarium anyway. Don't worry, Todd. We have extra diving suits. All you really need is your permission slip. What permission slip? The ones I distributed yesterday after I sent you home on the kindergarten bus. Don't tell me you don't have yours. No, I don't. Can I run home and get one signed before the bus leaves for the aquarium? Bus? <laughs> On a wayside field trip, students don't go to the aquarium. The aquarium comes to us. Okay, Lewis. Send in the fish. You got it, Mrs. J. Hmm, let's see. Dinosaurs, solar system. Ah, aquarium. We're gonna be inside an aquarium? No, Todd. We are going to be inside an aquarium. You are going to be inside a dinghy where all the kids go who don't have a permission slip. Ready for the 
most amazing day ever, class. Yay! Todd, you look so lonely all alone in that lonely raft. Wouldn't it be nice to have some company? Um, I'll be okay. Avert your eyes, Todd. No incredible undersea adventure for you. You don't have a permission slip, remember? Oh, no! I don't have a permission slip either, Mrs. Jules. Yes, you do, Mauricia. I just saw it in your hand. What happened? Um, I accidentally ate it. Oh, dear. Well, you shouldn't go in the water right after eating. I'm afraid you'll have to spend the day in the dinghy with Todd. Yes! No! Oh, Todd. What will we ever do? Just the two of us trapped together in the middle of nowhere. We're not exactly in the middle of nowhere. We're in the middle of Mrs. Jewel's class, in a lifeboat. This isn't a lifeboat, it's a love boat. Why don't we hold hands no. and drop anchor over by that romantic private island? First of all, that's not an island. It's a filing cabinet. And secondly, holding hands is death. Shh, don't speak, Mon Capitan. The whales are serenading us. Oh, a field trip day is a no kid day, and a no kid day is a field trip day. A field trip day is a no kid day, and that is a okay. And those special fish I ordered should keep the 30th floor busy while I take my own field trip. Hmm. This aquarium thing is boring. How can you say that? We're exploring a rich ecosystem. Weren't you impressed by the seaweed growing on the rubber boot rack? Meh. All right, I was going to save the good stuff for later, but let's explore the dangers of the deep. Hold on to your helmet, Myron. Ooh. It says here that these pink periwinkle clams can open their mouths once every 103 years. Isn't that exciting? Boring. This is a gray fish. Did you know there are only 256 different kinds of gray fish? Wouldn't it be fun to count them all? Boring. Wow, a sea sponge. These wild fellas never, ever move. Let's watch. Boring. Myron, you're upsetting the ecosystem. I want to see a shark. Todd, can we hold hands now, huh? No. Oh. Then can you do me a favor and hand me that paddle? That's not a paddle. That's your hand. Oh, is it? Uh, silly me. <laughs> um, Todd, can you do me a favor and hand me that rope instead? That's not a rope. That's your hand. Oh, is it? Silly me. <laughs> um, Todd, can you do me a favor and hand me my hand? That's not your hand. It's your hand. Poop, major goo, white dove, must be love, stamp it, lock it, no erases. Oh, Todd, you sent me a message in a bottle? How romantic. S-O-S. -S. What's that, Todd? Some kind of secret love code? Actually, it's an international distress signal used by sailors. Oh, I get it. S-O-S, -S, as in sweet on schoolmate. You really are a true romantic, Todd. Look, Myron. It's called a sea sludge, and it lives in gravel at the bottom of the ocean, where it eats 
gravel. That's so neat. Ugh. When are we going to see something really cool? Hey, how about glow guppies? They shouldn't be in here. Hmm, I remember reading something about those fish. Oh, I remember. They're boring. No, that's not it. Sorry, guy. If you're looking to bore me, you're a little late. That's it! Now I remember! Run! Oh no! What do we do? We're being attacked by glow guppies! This wasn't in the job description. Well, Mrs. Bools. That's Jewels. You certainly have the credentials, Mrs. Drools. Jewels. But Mrs. Mules, do you know how to handle an attack of glow guppies? I guess it was in the job description. Now, what was that drill? Oh, right, same as the swamp creature drill. Run away! Oh, I mean, swim away! Ah! This never would have happened if we just swam with the sharks. Ah! Look, Mauricia, we need to help. Ah! What? They look like they're having the time of their lives. I know I am. Want to hold hands yet? No. Mrs. Jules, can we help? Ah! You don't have a permission slip, Todd. That means you don't have permission to help us. Somebody else, help us! Ah! A permission slip. Don't worry, Mrs. Jules. Help is on the way. <laughs> Mauricia, uh, can you help me a second? I need to reach that permission slip. You can have my permission slip if you want. Uh, no thanks. I just need to lean out and grab that slip. So, could you... Would you... Hold my hand? <gasps> Hold your hand? Why didn't you say so? I would love to. Time to flip. Hey, where'd the sun go? Nice glow guppies. <laughs> Got it. Oh, Todd, how sweet. Even after all that, we're still holding hands. Oh, I just want this moment to last forever, Todd. It feels like I'm giving you goosebumps on your hand. Mauricia? Ah! Well, Todd, thank you for saving the class, and I'm glad you finally found your permission slip. <gasps> it's not signed. I can't accept this. You didn't have permission to save us, and for that, I'm sending you home early on the kindergarten bus. But technically, I didn't save the class. I was just trying to get away from Mauricia. Ready when you are, Mon Capitan. Sorry, Todd, but you'll just have to accept that you're the biggest hero in the history of Wayside and take your punishment for it like the troublemaker you are. Ow! <laughs> Swamp creature drill. And I remember this one. Run! Field trip day, field trip day. Oh, how I hate field trip day. Ouch!
so cool and crazy and wild and upside down. I'm bored and that's not fun. I want to get away, but I'm too tired to run. I'm going to find a place where there are no rules and the world is wild. I have the tools to make things happen and the reaction will explode. loads getting you down? Well, those problems will float away with my new helium-filled knapsack. Cool. Does it come in Halloween colors? Um, no. Oh, no thanks. Myron, what's wrong with your foot? I couldn't find my other shoe. Really? I've had that problem myself. You know what I did? I installed a GPS device on my kicks, so I always know where they are. Would you like one? Mm, no thanks. Usually I just tie a string to my finger if I want to remember something. Hey, I found it! Woohoo! Set! Hut, hut, hut! Well, I got it! No, I got it! I got it! Hey, Eric, Eric, and Eric. Wow, you guys look dirty. You know, it just so happens I have this new invention I like to call the Reverso Jersey. You can mess it up, then flip it inside out so you can hide the dirt. Why, I have one on myself. You can even... Or you could do that too, I guess. Oh, children, I have the most Wonderful news! We're all going to be on TV! Uh, Mrs. Jules, you gotta stand in front of the camera. Oh, dear. Who knew getting on television would be so difficult? Man, you are some lucky dudes. See that big antenna up there? Wow! Wayside's the highest building around. So, a bunch of TV stations asked to put a transmitting tower on our roof. Part of the deal was, they gave us our own student-run TV station. Hey, we're all on TV! So, uh, who wants to be first? I'm going to be famous! Vote for me! I need a close-up! A close-up! Lewis, give me a close-up! Ooh! It's okay, Myron. Maybe we should use our channel more responsibly, like discussing wayside rules and regulations. <laughs> Starting with rule number one. Thank you, Dead Air Dana. But it's time for my show. Wheels Extreme! Wheels Extreme! Wheels Extreme! Wheels Extreme! Wheels Extreme. Good evening. Welcome to the Steve and Spooky Channel. Where it's Halloween all the time. <laughs> okay, Stephen. Look, guys, we can all have our own show. All we have to do is share. Kidswater TV begins its broadcast day. How much would you pay for this vintage quality, mass produced, one of a kind collectible? Call the Kidswater Television Network to order now! What happened to our TV station? It's been overrun by clowns! Yes! But what a clown! Look, it's sad. Yet clowns are supposed to be happy. That's so crazy! <laughs> Lewis, did Mr. Kidswater just turn our student-run TV station into some kind of shopping channel? Whoa, little dude! I'll take that as a yes. This TV station belongs to all of us students. 
Come on, we can stop him. Yay! Just look at these replica original heirloom quality unicorns. And each one what? comes with Who would actually buy unicorn. that crud? I love this crud. <sighs> I guess it's up to us to fix this thing. Mauricia, can you rewire that transmitting tower and get Kid Swatter off our TV channel? Oh, I can do better than that. Wheels Extreme! Good, because I'm going to have a word with Channel Kidswater. Next up for sale on the Kidswater Shopping Network, a brand new exercise DVD, Sweatin' with Sammy. He's dead, but Rat have abs of steel. Bye, bye, bye! All lines are open! Mr. Kidswater, what are you doing? Lewis said this TV station was for the students. Oh, uh, time for a little break, folks. How about a special preview of that Sweatin' with Sammy DVD? Come on, you can do it! Give me one more, and two more, and three more, and keep it going! Come on now, who here really wants to see students on this so-called student-run station? The students do, that's who. It's better than selling cheesy statues and exercise DVDs. Come on, have you seen my special patented non-stick cook's water pans? Food will never stick to this, nothing will. Hmm, that's not supposed to happen. <laughs> Help! I've got pot and pan hands! Uh. Wheels Extreme! Now look what you've made me do. All I've ever wanted is to share my vintage quality mass-produced products with the world. You're using our student station to sell a bunch of junk. I love this junk. No, don't pull the camera plug. Haven't you ever had an idea or a product something so amazing you just had to share it with the world? Well, I mean... I did have this idea once for reversible gym wear. You did? Think we can retail it for $19.95 or less? I also designed something I call the Cleanie Beanie. It's a hat that washes your hair. Hmm. Do you have a prototype? Well, funny you should ask. I was working on a mock-up the other day. Hmm? Brilliant! And we're back! So, tell us more about this amazing new Cleanie Beanie mm -hmm. that is so smartly stylish and affordably priced. Well... When you just don't have time to wash your hair in the morning, you put it on wherever you are, give it a spin, and shampoo. Now, if I could just figure out how to shut it. So order now, while supplies last. Help! Mr. Kidswater, get this thing off of me! Ooh, I want a cleanie beanie too! What? Todd showed you that hat a month ago, and you just laughed at it. But that was before I saw it on TV. Are those calls all for my beanie? Put her there, partner. these motorized sneakers today, mm -hmm. and we'll throw in this amazing, slightly used helium-filled knapsack. Call the number on your screen right now! Wow, Mr. Kidswater.
I never thought home shopping could be so exciting, helpful, and rewarding. Oh, it's rewarding, all right. 102, 103. I mean, I've been coming up with these brilliant ideas for years, and no one ever cared before. Now it all makes sense. Think of all the good things we can do for everyone. I see the future, and it's called Kid Swatter TV. <laughs> Nothing can stop us now. What's wrong with the TV? Try flicking the switch. The what witch? Uh, what happened? How can this be? Now how can I help the world? I don't know. At least our priceless collectible revolutionary cookware and simulated gemstones are safe. But Mauricia, I thought you were just gonna rewire it. And? Is that not rewired enough? But don't you see? We had a TV station. All of us. Well, some of us. <laughs> well, maybe just the principal and me. But people actually liked my ideas. We were helping everyone. Ah, oh, Todd. I've always liked your ideas. But if people just need to see them on TV, I can fix that. Hey, would you guys like to try this new reversible shirt I created? Wicked! Awesome! Cool! Thanks, Mauricia. I couldn't have done it without you. My pleasure, Todd. Sorry, Todd. Stairs are out of order. Lewis? How can stairs be out of order? And what about those kids? Oh, the downstairs are working fine. It's the upstairs that are broken. Don't worry, I'll have it fixed lickety split. <sighs> Whoa. I knew there had to be an elevator around here somewhere. Now this makes sense. No more 30 flights of stairs every day. From now on, I'm taking the elevator. Huh? What? Maybe I pushed the wrong button. There must be some way to get this thing to go up. Think Wayside. Gotta go, gotta go, gotta go, gotta go! Phew, just made it to the bathroom in time. Wait a sec. Principal Kidswater? What? 344 South Fairview? What are you doing in here? This is an elevator, not a bathroom. And it's gonna take us to the 30th floor! Elevator? Hey, open up, you stupid lack! Stuck. No, 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 no! We can't be stuck. I have to... badly. Hey, wait a minute. I'll use the emergency phone. Hello? Hello? <laughs> Jello? Lewis, it's me, Todd. Help! We're trapped! Save us! Lewis, get me out of here! Oh, I, I can't why? hear what you're saying over why? all that screaming. Why? Let me put you on speakerphone. I can't hold it much longer. I have to go so bad. Lewis, help me before I wet myself. Okay. <laughs> Lewis, it's me, Todd. I'm stuck in the elevator with Mr. Kid Swatter. Dude, there's no elevator at Wayside. Actually, there are. Dana? According to the official Wayside Welcome Binder, subsection E, page 33, paragraph 17, 
Wayside elevators become operational when stairs are out of order. Hang on, little dude. I'm on my way. You mean we're on our way. Hold on, Myron. If we're all going to do this, you'll have to do everything exactly the way I would. You, you know, know what that means. Rescue, Rescue dudes. This leads to the main elevator shaft. Good work, Lewis. Okay, Lewis, you first. No problem, Lewis. Excuse me, Lewis. Rescue dude code, we never leave a dude behind. No! Ah! Help me, I'm falling! <laughs> Mr. K? Um, don't worry, we'll be okay. We'll be rescued soon. This is how it would end, to perish alone in this airless box. And nothing to comfort me but my bloated bladder. Mr. Kidswater, <laughs> you're not exactly alone. I'm here. Uh, hanky? I don't have a hanky. Just let me use your sleeve. No. <laughs> Ew. Will you stop that? I don't like being stuck here either. I can't stand being used as a hanky. And I hate climbing 30 flights of stairs every day. Now, pull yourself together, Mr. K. <laughs> Hear that? Yes, I know that sound well. We must be close. Come on, rescue dudes, let's go! Whoa! That is some serious inner building mechanical stuff. Gotta time it just right to get through. Or you could just flip the off switch. <laughs> Dude. Mr. K, hitting yourself like that is not gonna do any good. Actually, I find it helps me forget I have to go. All right, here's the elevator. Now all we gotta do is open the emergency escape hatch and <laughs> uh, Mr. K, the doors open. I mean the goose axe. What? The goose axe are open? 
stupid Guzax. <laughs> We'll never catch it this way. Come on, I knew a shortcut. Oh, these Guzaks, how they mock me. Opening just long enough to torment me. To let me know just how much I failed in life. Mr. K, if you're gonna do the self-pity thing again, can you just bang your head on the wall instead? That worked much better last time. Alas. I'm too sad to even be sad, or even need a bathroom. Touché, my four-cornered foe! You win. This is all my fault. The wayside school, the wayside elevator, the wayside goose acts. I'm just one big wayside failure. What? Will you cut that out already? You're no wayside failure. You're Mr. Kidswater, principal of wayside. It doesn't matter if this place is sideways, upside down, or inside out. I think it's 30 stories of greatness, and you're the great man who made it this way. What did you just say? You're the great man. No, 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 before that. Principal of Wayside. No, 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 before that. Wayside failure? No, 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 before that. Cut it out? Yes! Woo! Cut it out! <laughs> I, Mr. Kitswater, the principal of Wayside School, will cut it out! Todd? Mauricia! What are you doing? I heard some weird sounds in there, and it sounded like a skating rink. No. It's just an elevator, sort of. Hang on, dudes! Almost there! <laughs> you okay, Todd? Where's Mr. K? You okay, Mr. K? I'm more than okay, Lewis. I'm Mr. Kitswater, the principal of Wayside School. I think he needs some privacy now. Wait, don't tell us. Rescue me! Adventurous of you. 
You're on. You'll never beat Wayside. <laughs> Gotta find a team. And fast! Class, are you ready to present your oral reports? Oh. Who would like to go first? Ooh, 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 ooh. Todd, how about you? Okay, Mrs. Jules, I've done quite a bit of research for my report. Some wasn't even in our textbook. How wonderful! I can't wait to hear it! <clears throat> my oral report is on Christopher Columbus. In 1492, Shh. the Nina, Shh. the Pinta, Shh. and the Santa Maria. Shh. Todd, no talking! But I'm doing an oral report. I have to talk, and besides... The Wayside Rulebook states, Chapter 5, Section 2B, Paragraph 4... Ahem. All oral reports are to be performed without talking. Exactly. Thank you, Dana. Okay. Here's my oral report, delivered without speaking. Gotta find a team, gotta find a team, gotta find a team! Is there a team in there? Team, where are you? Yeah! That was wonderful, Todd. Give that boy an F. <gasps> F for fantastic! Your moves, your style, your dancing. What? But I wasn't dancing. Spoken like a true captain. A captain of what? The captain of the Wayside Wallflowers dance team extraordinaire. Yay! Principal Kid Swatter, I don't think please, I... Please, please, please! I need a team! <laughs> Mr. Kidswater has a point. You did fall off the best oral report in the history of Wayside. Really? Yeah, and I never knew Columbus was wrong about the circumference of the Earth. And the distance from the Canary Islands to Japan. You got that part? Cool. You can't quit on us now, Todd. You're our captain. <laughs> okay, I'll do it. Great. I got a team. See you at practice. Glad to have you as our ringer, 344 South Fairview. Especially since we've been challenged to a dance-off against the oi 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 dumbbells. <laughs> All right, wallflowers, show me what you've got. Dance! Just follow my lead, Mauricia. Todd, this is gonna be awesome! Please, Mauricia, take my hand. Ooh. Hmm, practicing the power moves, are we? Not bad. But you've got to stick that landing, 344. Ah, uh, Mr. K, I don't think that was a dance move. Ow! Way to go, Todd! Bravo! This time with feeling. I have no feeling in my shoulder. Ow! One, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three, four, five, six, one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three, four, five, six, one, two, three. Very good, and double time. Ow! 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 So, one, two, ow. That's your secret, Mr. Kidswater. Well, not for long. Oi, oi, oi! Oi, oi, oi! All right, Wallflowers, how do you feel? Okay, eh, I guess. Fine. Not bad. Oi, oi, oi! Oi, oi, oi! Kids, Vater? I will kiss you. It's been long time. Not long enough. Are you still mad? Yes. Mad? Why would I be mad? Just because you dumped me for that samba-loving sweet at the ballroom title bout in Budapest 21 years, 3 months, and 12 days ago? Ha! I'm over it! I not mean to break your heart, 
My heart is not what you should be worried about tonight, kiss you. No, tonight you should be worried about my star dancer. Howdy. Oh, kids, Vater. You nice man. I not want hurt you no more. But tonight, we dance circles around you. Oi, oi, oi! Oi, oi, oi! <laughs> So, 344, are we ready to crush, smash, and cha-cha-cha these guys and their backstabbing, yet still somehow alluring, Coach I Will Kiss You? Well, we have been practicing pretty hard. I'll vouch for that. <laughs> all right, welcome everyone to the Wayside Dance Summit. As you all know, this is a rematch between the oi 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 dumbbells and our very own homegrown wayside wallflowers. You all know the rules. Challengers, go first. Go, Mama Land! Your score is 22 points. Great job, oi 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 dudes. Coming up next, Dana and Myron. Let's rock the house, Myron. Certainly. Vote for me. Vote for me. Vote for me. Vote for me. Let's see if the judges are listening to you, Myron. Yeah! 23, that's where you want to be. That means Wayside Wildflowers are in the lead. Now it's time for the Dumbbells to strike back with their star captain, Demi, the Dominator. Demi, 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 Demi. Now, Demi, dance. <laughs> One, two. <laughs> they they stole our moves. moves. Oi, oi, oi! That is best move I ever see. Sammy, we start way. One, two. <laughs> The Wayside Wallflowers need a perfect score to win. It's gonna be tough to beat. Oral reports are to be formed without talking. That was wonderful time. Give that boy an F. Boy an F. Boy an F. F for fantastic. That's it, Mr. K. What? Come on, Mauricia. Just follow my lead. could do it. Thanks. Oh, don't thank me. Thank my oral report. Uh-oh. Don't look now. Here comes Dimitri. Todd, I want to tell you one thing. Yeah, Dimi? I never knew Columbus was wrong about the circumference of the Earth and the distance from Canary Islands to Japan. You got that bit, huh? Ah, not bad for a wallflower. Thanks. Not bad for a dumbbell. Well, Kitsy, it looked like victory is yours. That's right, Kiss You. 
It was a well-fought contest, but now it's time to claim my prize. Crank it, Louis. Well, after you, Dimitri. Thank you. Library? Oh, Miss Mush Family Archive. It need break from kitchen room, okay? So you want to donate your family archives to the library? Yes, Pubinsky eat entire 16th century. <laughs> the 16th century? Wow. I've only traced my family roots back two days, four months, and 130. Hmm, I don't know where we were before that. You right here, but this guy, he belong in Stewpot. Come back here! Hmm. Looks like an ancient marriage certificate. <gasps> With my family's name on it? Whoa. Miss Mush? I think we're related. What? I found this 12th century marriage certificate in your archives with both our family names on it. It looks like my great 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 grandfather got married to your great 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 grandmother. Isn't that great? Oi, oi, oi! We distant cousins from Mama Land! We salute flag and home country. Oh. Blah, blah, blah. I have so much to learn about my family's culture. Miss Mush? Related? Yes, at least according to this ancient marriage certificate I found in Miss Mush's archives. See, a long time ago, in Miss Mush's mama land, one of my ancestors was walking along when he hit a crossroad. He wanted to go right, but the sign said, go left! Now, every generation of my family has always felt the need to follow rules. So he obeyed the sign and went left. That's when he met one of Miss Mush's ancestors. <laughs> Not this ancestor, that ancestor. <laughs> he instantly fell in love, and so did she. And they lived happily ever after in the Mama Land. My Mama Land. See, Miss Mush and I are cousins. No, no way. way. And I've never been happier. Now me and Cousin Mushnik make family dinner a mushroom surprise. Wow, Dana's related to Miss Mush? I wish I was related to the Wolf Man. <laughs> Byron, no howling at the table. Sorry, Mom. Pass the chew toys, please. I'm as hungry as a wolf. <laughs> Get it? You know, it's great that she's discovered her mama land, but I still kind of like the old Dana. Me too. But what's she gonna do? 
Can't change the mush archives. That's it. We gotta check that marriage certificate. Come on. Get down! You oh, you cook just like Miss Mush. Yes, long lost family put smile as big as mushroom on my heart. Oi, oi, oi! Before you, Sammy, my best family. But he dead and on vacation. Now I learn the more ways of Mama Land. No? Nope. Yes, but Miss Mush warn cousin. Mama Land have many, many rules. Rules? Really? I love rules. Hmm. Wait a minute. Excuse me, Miss Mush. Can I get some service here? I'm as hungry as a wolf. <laughs> get it? You eat mushroom surprise. Nope. Dana? Dana? Mushroom, mushroom surprise? surprise? You know what that can do to a person? Whoa! But it's tradition. And um. tradition, just fancy name for many, many rules. Like this one. No read in food line. Hey! Tradition rules say read in food line make bad luck. Must toss fried mud ball over shoulder. But Dana, I think you made a mistake. Someone read on food line? Hey, I was just trying to learn more about your culture here. Ugh. God, it looks like your face stepped in a mud puddle. Ah! She points with left hand instead of right! Bring bad luck into kitchen. Make bad food! We need to Mama Land Mojo Magic Mambo! <laughs> Smell of suck and head of fish. Stop bad luck from ruined dish. Oi, oi, oi! Oi, oi, oi! We've got to do something about Dana before her traditions kill us. I think I have the answer. Dana, that is so rude. No, I sing Mama Land National Anthem. Oh, in that case, why don't we all help Dana celebrate her heritage? <laughs> Dana, there's something you need to know about your Mama Land. Oh, I know so many things. In Mama Land, Liverwurst is national treasure. Uh, about those archives, Dana? We make so many things with Liverwurst. I checked the marriage certificate, and there seems to be something wrong. We make Liverwurst lollipops, Dana. Liverwurst television, Dana. Liverwurst water skis, Dana. Liverwurst underpants. Dana! You're not actually from the Mama Land! What? Your ancestor fell in love that day centuries ago, but it wasn't with anyone in Miss Mush's family. <gasps> he fell in love with a smart girl who loved rules, and they lived happily ever after. Oh, oh, and they helped their warthog become president of their country. <laughs> I make you some dinner. Oi, oi, oi! No way. My ancestor actually married some smart girl and helped their warthog become president? <laughs> who would believe that? A warthog who became president. <laughs> whoa, whoa! By the way, Dana, can you get this kid with all the arms to vote for me for class president? I think he likes me. <laughs> Cousin, what matter with you? Why you not wear hat? 
and apron. Miss Mush, I have some bad news. I think I made a mistake. What, this cousin? We know related. I'm afraid not. Go, little fella. This is where you belong. Your true home. I'm sorry, Miss Mush. The Mama Land is your land, not mine. It no matter. You not Mama Land girl, but there's still smiling mushroom on your heart. <laughs> Thanks, Miss Mush. I loved our time as cousins. Oi, oi, oi. Oi, oi, oi. Miss Mush, one last thing. Where exactly is the Mama Land? Oh, the Mama Land. Ah, the Mama Land. Let me tell you exactly where it is. It right... So, now you know. Ah. <sighs> I guess it's just you and me again, Sammy. Ah. Is everybody ready for the Wayside Spelling Test? Yes, Mrs. Jaws! How do you spell? <coughs> Moo. M-O-O. -O. Class, how do you spell? <coughs> Meow. M-E-O-W. Class, how do you spell? <coughs> Cling clong, no, that's not it. <laughs> Cling kong bang. Hmm. Ah. Ah. Todd. No making loud noises during a test. Sorry, Mrs. Jules. your test without further disruption. Mrs. Jules, that was my test. See how everything always works out? Ah, nothing works right in this school. The desks, the pens, 
A pencil sharpener? When I'm principal, I'm gonna fix things around here. Hold on, Todd. You didn't enter Kids Water's principal for a day contest, did you? Yeah, of course I did. What? No one enters that. Oh no, don't do it. Don't do it, yikes. It's a oh, trap. Todd, I see myself as a leader cut from the Kids Water mold. But not even I entered that contest. Attention, students, attention. I'd just like to thank all the many qualified candidates who applied for this year's Principal for a Day contest. But as you know, only one can be the lucky sucker. <laughs> I mean the lucky winner. And in a moment, our Wayside Supercomputer will have completed its calculations. And the winner is... Toad. Todd. Congratulations, Todd the Toad. You are now principal. Um, just for the day. Good night. Oh, come on. It can't be that bad, can it? Perfect. I have some important meetings <laughs> today, so I've made a list ah! of simple tasks Wham! for the guest principal to complete. Damn on it! Is that it? Because there's a few things I'd like to take care of myself today. Just make sure you complete my list first. <laughs> Look at all that paper. Toodaloo! <sighs> okay. Uh, I can do this. I will do this. And I'll do it better than any principal has done before. Oh, Principal Todd, I got in trouble for passing this love note. And Mrs. Jewel sent me to your office. My office? Mauricia, I don't have an office. But I broke a rule. And I'm not really the principal. You can give me detention. And I have this whole list. Detention by candlelight. And I'm trying to fix this broken school and... What about my broken heart, Todd? Can you fix that? Like I said, I'm not really the principal. I mean, uh, I'm not the heart-fixing, uh... See you later, Mauricia. <laughs> Hi, Miss Mush. Oh, you come here. I'm the guest principal today. I call foul. No fair. Hey, Principal Todd, you here for breakfast? Actually, I'm here to improve on the lunch menu. Hey! <laughs> oh, improve on lunch menu? Ah, no worry. Already taken care of. See, I make delicious sweat socks too, made fresh from real sweat. <laughs> well, since lunch isn't ready, why don't you try feeding the kids this instead? Huh? Strange roundy-like thing? You call it what? It's a pizza pie. Kids love them. Hmm. It tastes like cardboard. It's missing something. Maybe some sauce and cheese and some pepperoni. That's the spirit. Time to whip this school into shape. Hmm, and mud with giant doorknob on it. Water's list. Whoa. 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 Ah, finally, the last one on the list. Vacuum the schoolyard. Whoa. 
Oh, principal for the day, dude. You're almost done the entire list. Yep, working on the last one. As a matter of fact, I've even improved on a few things. Observe. <laughs> Yeah, nice touch with the cows. You know what? It's not that hard running this school. I don't know what the big deal is with Kid Swatter. Well, Todd, you have done more in one day than Kid Swatter does all year. But still, there is a reason he runs this place. Although sometimes it's hard to remember what that reason is. <laughs> Reminds me of the time I... <laughs> Gotta get that pink paper back in there. Ah. <laughs> Hi, Principal Todd. I got sent to your office again for passing a love note, which may or may not be about you. Just what I need. Give me that love note. Ooh, which one? All of them. Oh, Todd, I'm so excited. You're finally reading the most secret things I've ever written about you. <clears throat> it's time you knew how I feel, Todd. Let love rain down on us. Uh, this isn't working. You're telling me this relationship really isn't working. <laughs> Mr. Kidswater, help! Hmm, something seems different here. I'm holding up the building. No, that's not it. Excuse me, Toad. There! That's better. Took me a while to figure that one out. My list! You actually completed it! But... but... you just saved the entire school! I guess some things just aren't on a list when it comes to being a principal. Don't take it too hard, Toad. Most amphibians couldn't have done half that list. You should be proud. You deserve some kind of reward. Really? Like what? Aha! New list. One, have this Toad win every principal for a day contest. Two, change principal for a day contest to principal for a year contest. Number three. Work on backhand serve. What are you waiting for, Todd? Open up your report card. I, I can't. It's got to be bad. Why would you ever think that? Mrs. Jules always sends me home early on the kindergarten bus. I've never spent a whole day in class. Who knows what kind of grades she's given me? Todd, what are you talking about? This isn't student report card day, it's teacher report card day. Today is the day we grade our teachers! What? We gotta fill out Mrs. Jules' report card? Yes, that's how we let our teacher know if she's achieving at our grade level or not. It's for her benefit, and ours too. 
Hmm, grading Mrs. Jules, huh? Maybe it really can be for my benefit. Hello, class. Are you ready to hand in my report cards? Yes, Mrs. Jules. Straight A's. Oh, thank you, Dana. <laughs> uh -huh. You're the best teacher ever. Why, <laughs> you're the best Myron ever. Myron. You like, make me smart like. Oh, yes, I do like Mauricia. Indubitably. I like your hair. I like your ears, Stephen. <laughs> I always sleep best in your class. Oh, I'm flattered, Cherie. Hmm, John, what are all these funny looking bees? Oh, they're upside down A's. Thanks. A plus, A plus, A plus. Ah! C classroom skills need improvement? See me after class! Todd, what have you done? Nothing. I just asked her to see me after class. <gasps> Todd? Yes? Mrs. Jules, are you okay? Do you know what this means? You're going to see me after class. Yes. At the end of the day. Yes. And so, for the first time ever, you can't send me home early on the kindergarten bus. Yes! Awesome! I made it to the end of the day for the first time ever! Your father's waiting for you downstairs, Mrs. Jules. And what a delightful man. Taught me this bendy trick with my arm. But I don't think I'm doing it right. Ow! Okay, Todd, Papa's waiting. Let's go. Oh, Mrs. Jules, I, I don't have to see you after class. I just said that so I could stay in school until 3. Nice try, 344. But any time a teacher gets a report card like this, they need a parent-teacher conference. Or rather, a teacher's parent conference. I have to meet Mrs. Jules' parent? Yes. And when you do meet Papa Jules, ask him how I can get my hand to stop doing that. Ow! Wait! Did you do what we said, Mrs. Jules? Yes, I told my Papa I've been doing my best work and the students just picking on me for no reason. Great! That always works for my brothers when they get in trouble. Yeah. You just have to prepare your parents before they speak to a teacher. Or in this case, your student. Good luck. But Mr. Kidswater... Watch it. He's from the circus. Todd, this is out of our hands. You heard Principal Kidswater. No, really, Mrs. Jules. You're a great teacher. I, I don't have to meet your dad. I just don't want to get sent home early every day. Let's be rational here. There's no point... Ali, Ali, oxen free! <laughs> Here's my precious carrot. So, you're the one picking on my daughter. I wasn't picking on her. Well, that's what she said. You call her my little potato skin a fibber? No, no, no. I, I'd never say that about your potato skin. I mean your daughter. I, I mean Mrs. Jules. I just thought of... Uh, Come on. Out with it, pelican pants. I thought if she didn't send me home on the kindergarten bus, she'd be a better teacher. Better teacher? Listen, clam socks. My girl's been perfect ever since she somersaulted into this world. Cartwheeled through childhood and cannonballed out of teacher school. Cannonballed! But now, because of your insensitive editorializing on her report card, I'm gonna pull her out of Wayside and send her to teach in a private school. What? What? Papa, you can't do this! Sorry, little pumpkin eyes, but I want you to give the best education you can give. No! Don't take her away. I can change her grade. Oh, you'll have to do more than that, turtle teeth. You've got to help me. Papa Jules is going to make Mrs. Jules teach in some fancy private school. He thinks I'm picking on her or something. Uh-oh. Um, well, Todd... I don't know where she got that idea. 
Oh, how about this? Just stop picking on her. What? But I don't pick on her. She picks on me. Aha! Uh -huh. Then the problem is you, Todd. Yeah, Todd. You need to be a better student. Huh? Sure. That way Mrs. Jules can be a better teacher. And you can give her a better grade. Wait a minute. Let me get this straight. I work harder, but she gets the better grade? What a brilliant idea, Todd. Uh... Let's help you get started. <laughs> See, leg goes here, and toes go here. Okay, here we are. Hmm, nice trick. But I still don't know why people claim I always put my foot in my mouth. This is the first time I've ever done it. And let me tell you, it does not taste familiar. I'll be right back, Papa. I just want to say goodbye to my class. Take your time, my little fuzzy turnip. I still gotta teach Foot Swatter here how to scratch his own back with his kneecaps. Morning, Mrs. Jules. Here's an apple and some flowers and all my completed homework for the next six years. Why, thank you, Todd. But what's wrong with your arm? Oh, we've just attached a minor arm brace to ensure that it's always raised, whether you've asked a question or not. Just trying to be a better student so uh, you can be a better teacher. How thoughtful of you, Todd. But you can put your hand down now. Um, actually, I, I can't. Let me help. <clears throat> yeah! <gasps> well, Todd, if you can't follow directions, I'll just have to put your name on the discipline list. Already taken care of. Goodness, Todd. Did you write that? Yes, but I had some help from my friends. Dana, a check, perhaps? Uh, oh, yeah, this thing. Oh, I just cannot wait to ride home on the kindergarten bus. My, what an improved attitude. That teacher's parent conference really helped. Now, if only everyone in the class was like you, Todd. Yay! <laughs> kids really know how to teach your teacher. Does that mean you'll let her stay here with us? Absolutely yes. I can see the lot of you will make up for any bad studenting by old chicken slacks over there. I've fixed Mrs. Jewell's grade based on my recent improvements. Of course you have, squirrel socks. <sighs> Papa Jules, I really didn't mean to cause any problems. I just wanted Mrs. Jules to learn what it felt like riding on the kindergarten bus every day. Oh, so this is all about my little prune pit's learning, is it? Um, yeah. I guess I was trying to teach her something. Well, education's important to us, so, um, what you want to teach her, Turkeywig? <laughs> You actually agreed that I have to ride home on the kindergarten bus every day for the rest of the month? Of course I did, my little butternut. That's the student's recommendation. Said you'd learn heaps from it. Wanted you to know how it feels to be here. You know, I think I see what Todd is trying to teach me. This kindergarten bus is a he just wanted me to know how much fun it is. Now I'll definitely send him home on it every day. <laughs> Thanks, Todd. No!
So cool and crazy and wild and upside down I'm bored and that's not fun I wanna get away but I'm too tired to run I'm gonna find a place where there are no rules And the world is wild I have the tools to make things happen And the reaction will explode Attention students, attention. Don't be chicken to enter our excellent costume contest. <sighs> Welcome to the spring dance, matey. Myron, why are you wearing two pirate eye patches? Ha <laughs> ha! So I can be twice the pirate as anyone else. Glug, glug, glug. Refreshing. Arg! So what are you supposed to be, matey? Hey, Myron. Hey, you sound exactly like my friend Dana. Hey, Dana. Let me guess, you're a librarian, right? Uh-uh-uh, a Dewey Decimal Technician. Great spring dance, huh? Yeah, but shouldn't we have the costume party at Halloween instead? Halloween? But that's when we celebrate the arrival of spring. Yeah, Todd, don't you know anything? <sighs> now I'm ready for the costume party. Are you supposed to be a car dashboard? Yes. And the best part is, I've got driver's side airbags to protect myself from any sudden impacts. What kind of sudden impacts? Ahem. Hi, Todd. Ah, oh, Sammy, we chaperones. That means we watch funny looking kids. Come back, Todd. Why are you always bouncing away from me? Ah, so happy, these babushkins. It reminds Miss Mush of old times in swinging gulag with hairy Cossack boys. I go disco every night. Oh, Miss Mush, she hot like boiled pierogi back then. Oh, Sammy, you need mingle more. Go knock him dead on dance floor, no? Oh, I forget. You already dead. No worry. You just need good costume. I fix you up. Wanna dance, Todd? Ugh. Please, 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 please. No, Mauricia. I just got bounced halfway across the school. I need a break. What? You want to break up with me? Huh? No, no, that's not what I said. And besides, we can't break up because we're not even going out. But, but, ah! <laughs> Mauricia, are you okay? I didn't mean to hurt your feelings. My feelings, Todd? Step away from the vehicle. I repeat, step away from the vehicle. I see you meet tall, quiet stranger. He shake your hand now. Pleased to meet you. My name's Mauricia. I'm a princess. Yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. 
Oh, he say you sweet as boiled pierogi. Really? What's he look like? What? Oh, oh, he, he very shy. Uh, they all like that at school for extra rich and handsome. -y. Ooh, I've always had a thing for the strong, silent, handsome -y type. Did you hear that, John? Uh, Mr. Handsome need to powder a faceplate. Give me right back. See, you already made friend with Pony Headed Princess, right, Sammy? Costume, good idea, no? Ha ha ha! Look, Mauricia, I'm sorry about what I said before. I do like you. Talk to the hand, Todd. I've just met me a mystery man. Wow. What a hunk. He's so dreamy. <sighs> Step aside, girls. Mystery man's mine. He's way cooler than Todd. Come on, Prince Charming, shake a leg. You've got some charming to do. Wait, Miss Marsh, help with dance? Whoa, whoa! Wow, that guy can dance. Wish I had his move. Something's not right here. Oh, should I do it more like this? I think I better get a closer look at this mystery guy. Attention, students, attention. It's time to announce this year's best costume winners. I voted for you, Mr. Kidswater. I love that chicken costume. Thank you, little double pirate boy. But it's not a chicken outfit. I'm actually a mighty eagle. King of the sky. Huh? <laughs> <clears throat> That's, um, an eagle egg, by the way, comes with the chicken costume. I mean the eagle, I, I mean... Whatever. As I was saying, votes are in for King and Queen of the Spring Dance. The best girl costume is that roller skating princess person. Best boy, knight in shining armor. Sammy, you win! I mean, uh, mystery boy say... Thank you, ladies. to put the brakes on this mystery boy. Delivery in the kitchen for Miss Mush. Delivery? Maybe industrial cement mixer to make lunchtime special. <laughs> Look, buddy, I don't know what's going on here, but Mauricia's my girlfriend. I mean my friend who happens to be a girl. My friend girl. That silent treatment won't work with me, pal. Something smells rotten, and I think it's you. Hello? Anyone home? Sammy? Mauricia fell for a dead rat? <sighs> She'll be heartbroken when she finds out. I can't let that happen. Attention, students, attention. Time for the king and queen to come up for their very special dance. So let's get this over with. Now stop that already. Mm. Remember, I'm not a chicken. I am an eagle. Okay. Hurry, Sammy! You miss slow dance with pony headed girl. Oh, Sammy, you so popular. You turn Miss Mush heart to goulash. Whoa! Sammy, how you move like that? You dead. Oh, mystery 
kid. Please, let me see your beautiful mystery face. <gasps> no! Sammy! Todd? 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 344 South Fairview. Todd, where do you put Sammy? We exchanged costumes. I just couldn't let Mauricia see her new love was a dead rat. It would break her heart. Oh, why you not say so? You in love with pony-headed princess! Yay! Oh, well, I don't know about that. I mean, come on, me in love? What's that, Todd? You're in love with me? Oh, John, I knew it was you in that costume all along. Wait, no, 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 I... Miss Mush, she alone. Even dead rats have good time. I don't suppose you'd be interested in a quick dance. Oh, okay, kids, Vatsky. I show you how we scramble eggs in the old country. Lucky for you, children, Mrs. Jules has asked me to lead this year's exciting camping trip adventure. I've been on many a daring safari, and let me tell you, when you're in the wild, anything can happen. Hey! Why didn't someone tell me the campground was on the sixth floor? I looked all over for it downstairs. Myron, the fifth floor's for pottery class. Oh, so that's why I'm so dizzy. Can someone pass me another bag of marshmallows? These ones won't stay on my stick. Oh, Todd. Don't you want to sit closer to me while we tell scary ghost stories around the campfire? Um, no thanks, Mauricia. But who'll protect me if I get scared? I feel so vulnerable. You? The toughest girl in school? All you ever want to do is punch me. You're just too rough. No, I'm not. I... I must not hit Todd! Ow! You are too rough. Yeah, well... Mm -hmm. I wasn't always like this. Tell him, Dana. Ooh, ooh. It's true. See, a long time ago, before Todd joined our class. Oh, brother. Mauricia was a gentle girly girl. <laughs> Why aren't you the prettiest peach of a porcupine, Fluffy? One day, Mrs. Jules was sick, and we got the meanest substitute ever. My name is Mrs. Gorf, and if any of you are bad, I'll wiggle my ears, stick out my tongue, and turn you into an apple. <laughs> that wasn't very nice. Good. Poor Eric! Right, Eric? Gorf? Mrs. Gorf? It says here in the rule book, turning students into apples is not allowed. Gorf? And the next thing I knew, I was an apple too. Ooh. A fascinating tale. Reminds me of the time I was hunting pomegranates on the subcontinent with my trusty steed, Thunderbolt! The pomeg... <clears throat> hmm. 
Excuse me. I must gather some more kindling from the forest interior. Anyway, Mrs. Gorf would not stop. Now, back then, Myron was also a different person. Heroic, fearless, self-sacrificing. Mrs. Gorf, as sometime class president, I demand you cease and desist all Apple-related damages. Mrs. Gorf actually seemed surprised, even impressed. Ah, at last! A student noble enough to risk his own safety in order to protect his friends. What? Whoa! Who said anything about risking my safety? I shall not turn you into an apple. Oh, goody! Instead, she turned him into... a potato. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Fluffykins, how are we going to save them apples? Oh, hey, Mrs. Gorf. Everything okay? Lewis had heard Mrs. Gorf was a really mean teacher. Then he saw the apples. Whoa, the students must love you. Look at all the apples they gave you. And a potato, too. Bonus. Students love me. <laughs> and so Mauricia skipped away with all of her Apple classmates. Hold on a second. Mauricia actually skipped? Ah! I once skipped across a Nepalese plateau wearing nothing but yak butter! Now that's a tale to tell! But now I must rewind the forest ambience. <clears throat> yes, Mauricia skipped. She felt it was much more ladylike. It just wasn't very fast. Sure. So, everybody, as part of our Halloween dress rehearsal, it's time for Bobbing for a Pulse! Okay, children, today we'll finger paint with applesauce. Made from those apples right over there. Get up! <laughs> Watch up! Applesauce! And that's how you play fruit ball. So, Everyone bring their fruit. I got an orange. I got a banana. Mm -hmm. Hey, is anyone using this apple? Don't worry, Fluffy, my sweet. Mrs. Gorf must have a reason for being so mean. Maybe being turned into a little old apple is just a part of growing up. Potato casserole. Let's see, ten eggplants, six couple socks, and one potato. Where I put my potato? Aha! Uh -huh. <laughs> Is there an echo? <laughs> oh, oh, Fluffykins! You're a... You're a prickly pineapple! <laughs> <laughs> That's when things changed for Mauricia. It was like something inside of her just snapped. Nobody turns my porcupine into a porcupine apple. <laughs> But first, there's something I gotta do. Go, 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 go! Huh? Applesauce! 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 Swing, bada bada bada, swing, bada bada bada, swing, bada bada bada, swing! Come back 
back here. You not first food to run from, Miss Mush. Where do you go? Ah, I no need stupid potato. I make crayon casserole instead. And that's why we never eat Miss Mush's rainbow-colored casserole. <laughs> Reminds me of the time I wrestled a wild crayon on the coast of Tangiers. Teal blue, one of the most ferocious colors alive. Maybe I'll go fix the stream. So Mauricia snatched up all the rest of us Apple students. Now. Where were we? Give me back my class! Sure, you want them? You got them! Ah! 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 I give up! Make them stop! Only if you promise to turn them all back into students. Okay, okay, I promise. So Mrs. Gorf turned all of us apples Gorf? back into students. Gorf? Fluffy! Oh, Fluffy. Ouch! You've changed. Well, that makes two of us. At this point, Mauricia could have turned back, too. Back into the polite and proper girl she'd been before. <laughs> Gorf? Oh, I've turned myself into an apple! That was the end of Mrs. Gore. And Mauricia's been a tough girl ever since. Now, will you sit with me? Sure, if I actually believed that story. What? Do you really want to take that chance, Todd? After all, who will protect you from Mrs. Gore? Ah, uh, that's not really Mrs. Gorf, is it? Ow! Oh, flying apples! Reminds me of the time I was stranded on an island full of giant flying mutated apples. Students, 
Hurt. <sighs> uh, Lewis, that's not a message. It's a love note. Who put this here? <laughs> Where's my message about secretly firing half the faculty? Oh, well, better do that later. Carry on, students. And, uh, teachers. Well, half of you, at least. Oh, dear. If they're firing teachers, I better hide! Q-R-S-T, teachers. Mauricia, you've got to stop putting our names in hearts all over the school. Huh? But, Todd, whatever do you mean? <laughs> Face it, Mauricia. I'd rather do anything than be your boyfriend. Would you kiss a dead rat? Yes, anything. Would you live in Antarctica? Yes. Would you eat Miss Mush's mushroom surprise? Yes. What? what? Is he gone mad? You'd actually eat Miss Mush's mushroom surprise? Um, yeah. Oh, yeah? Well, prove it. Eat it. Okay, I will. Fine. Right now. Let's go. You beat Miss Mush again! How do you do it? You no dead rat! You dead card shark! <laughs> Miss Mush, Todd wants to eat a bowl of your mushroom surprise. What? But no one eat that for years! Except Sammy, but he did. This wasn't such a good idea. Really? So you'll be my boyfriend? Miss Mush, bring on the surprise! <gasps> Don't do it! Mm -hmm. You know, it's not that bad. Superstar. I feel great, Mrs. Jules. I guess Todd was telling the truth, Mauricia. He'd rather eat mushroom surprise than be your boyfriend. Oh, that's how you do CPR. Yes, Lewis, this may be my crowning achievement here at Wayside. You mean the big hole? Or all the teachers you had to fire to pay for it? <sighs> hmm, that boy may be hurt. Good thing I know CPR. CPR? I don't need CPR. I'm an L-O-V-E. What an exciting morning. But before I go back to hiding in the cabinet, I'd like everyone to hand in their homework on cheese and macaroni. I did all my work on you and me and matrimony. How cute, Todd. You're going to marry an alien. I love the antenna. That's not an antenna. That's you and your big fluffy hair. Don't worry, Todd. One day you'll meet your alien from the stars. Now, class, if the principal comes looking for someone to fire, please tell him I'm not here. Mauricia. Yes, Todd? Helmet. Anything for you, Todd. Ribbon. <laughs> Do you want a lock of my hair to go with it? <gasps> Call me! Yes, good morning. Mrs. Jules, I made you something. Oh, how sweet. You've turned Mauricia's head into a flower. That's very creative. Dana? What's with Todd? It's like he's fallen madly in love with Mrs. Jules instead of me. And after all I gave him, my helmet, my ribbon, my heart. Oh, Mrs. Jules, 
why don't we go somewhere together sometime? You know, like on a picnic. Or to a movie. Maybe even a romantic gondola boat ride. Huh? Oh, don't be silly, Dorothy. Nice. Where would you ever find a gondola boat? Oh, solo mio, my gondola and me. Oh, please watch your stay. Oh, Lois, why didn't I think of digging that hole and turning the 14th floor into a gondola canal years ago? Um, because it's too expensive and a little insane? Nonsense. Now that we've fired half the faculty, we have all the money we need. Oh, Solata, I'm a Mr. Kitsua. Uh, but, Mrs. Jules, there is a gondola canal here at Wayside. I can show you. We can take a ride together, please. Hey, aren't you gonna punch him? No, I, I can't. He's hurt me too much for me to hurt him today. Aw, come on. You can still hurt him. Besides, I'm sure Todd still cares for you more than he cares for Mrs. Jules. I don't think so. I mean, you saw it. He'd rather eat mushroom surprise than be my boyfriend. Hey, maybe that's it. Maybe he's just sick from eating the mushroom surprise. You mean like food poisoning? No, more like love poisoning. <laughs> Checkmate! Oh, how you do that, Sammy? Miss Mush, you've got to help us. We think Todd had a bad reaction to your mushroom surprise. Dead? Much worse. He's hopelessly in love with our teacher, Mrs. Jules! Ah, oh, not again! <laughs> Science teacher eat mushroom surprise once. He fall mad in love, too! With cactus. Ooh. Wow, how did he get cured? Cured? You're right, Miss Mush. There is no cure for love. There, there, you said. You eat. I give you baloney uh. freezy. It's like ice cream, but no cream or milk. Mostly just baloney. Thanks, Miss Mush, but I can't eat right now. I'm so upset, I feel nauseous. You in the right place. Baloney freezy make many people throw up. Of course! That's what we have to do! Throw up? No, make Todd throw up, just like if he had food poisoning. You mean, if we get the mushroom surprise out of Todd, maybe he'll fall out of love with Mrs. Jules and in love with me? Either that, or he make big mess. Oh, Todd. There really is a gondola canal on the 14th floor. Shall we board? Well, Todd, I'm only doing this because I feel bad for not believing you before and because you've been so nice and helpful lately. Exactly, Mrs. Jules. Todd has been so helpful. You should reward him with a delicious ice cream-like treat. Todd, as your reward, you can eat that funny-looking dessert. Okay. <laughs> Mrs. Jules, I don't think I'm in love with you anymore. What? You in love with me? Todd, no falling in love with your teacher. Just for that, I'm sending you home on the kindergarten bus. But first, I don't feel so well. <laughs> Yes, Mr. K? Someone ruined my canal. That's it. Drain it and rehire those teachers. A wise choice, Mr. K. And get them to build me a miniature golf course. One other thing, Lewis. Make that man stop kissing that cactus. Ooh. Hello, Todd. Are you feeling better? I sure am. Now that you made Mauricia take down all those hearts. Phew, I'm so glad that's finally over. Lunch 
With lunch already? Get, eat, mushroom surprise. Oh, come now, children. <laughs> Miss Mush's food isn't that bad. Then why don't you ever eat it? Me? Oh, uh, I, uh, uh, oh, uh, lunch time. Hmm, something's fishy around here. Yeah, fishy with chips. What? I'm hungry. Lounge. We're not allowed in there. Yeah, but do you smell that? <laughs> you certainly took your sweet time. Now, Ellie. Ooh la la, le chef. Everything looks so magnifique. Well, of course it does. Plate. I am so glad the faculty lounge has its own French chef. I was wondering if I could have some... Next. <laughs> that why they no eat in lunchroom. Okay, kiddies, let's go. Time for lunch. Mm. What that sound? It sounded like moan of pain. No, Miss Mush. That's a moan of pure yummy tummy satisfaction. Really? I never hear such moan. So delicate, yet bold. These flavors swirl and tumble. They fill me with delight. It's like tasting heaven with each and every bite. Yep, that about sums it up. What? My food is swirly tumble too, no? Of course, Miss Mush, your food is de- Bleh. I mean, <clears throat> your food is absolutely fan- Bleh. Sorry, your food is really, really, really- Bleh. Okay, I see. You like morning food better? Fine, eat it. I quit. <laughs> who was that? <gasps> Wait, who are you? Ooh la la! Now that Mr. Kidswater has made me the head chef of the Wayside School, I will teach these stinky face brats what it is to be a culinary genius! Mm -hmm. What is your problem? One lunch special, please. Le Chef? What exactly is this? What is this? This is a vision of a whisper. The sound of the rainbow. The taste of a dream. This is paradise! I thought paradise would be bigger. What? You stinky little boy who has no taste! I curve my nose up at you and your lunch face of a silly person? Go! Sorte, sorte, sorte! And for the rest of you? From now on, you must stand on one leg and beg for my food. Say, please, please feed my stinky face, le chef. Please, please feed my stinking face, le chef. Oh, what a charming man. <laughs> Thank you, Garçon. Now let's dig in. Please, please feed my stinky face. Oh, it looks so wonderful, so delicious. Hey, Le Chef, I'll have one soup of the day. Regardez, la soup toujours. That's it? Hey, is there any chance I can get some crackers to go with that? <laughs> sortez, sortez, sortez! Oh, but I'm hungry. Sortez, sortez, sortez! But you broke the rules. Sortez! This is ridiculous. We need Miss Mush back. Miss Mush quit the cafeteria, but she didn't go far. I just saw her hang the sign here. 
www.missmush.mush. Kids! It's so good now I see you! Except you pickle-stabbing, pony-headed, rhymey rhyme girl. Whoa, what's with all the computers? I start mail order internet food business. I mail food to happy peoples all over the world. Thanks, Miss Mush. Your liverwurst smoothies are the best flame retardant our fire department has ever seen. Miss Mush, does it bother you that no one is actually eating your food? Yes, but I make millions of money. Business so good, I even hire assistant. Sammy! Pick up phone! Pick up phone! Pick up phone! He good assistant, but he dead. So, what Miss Mush do for you? Miss Mush, we need you back in the cafeteria now. You hungry? Why you not say so? Miss Mush feed you. We sneak into cafeteria and I make you peanut butter and octopus sandwich. Yes? No! What happened to Miss Mush kitchen? Where pots and pans and squishy thing? Cold fridge? Cooking on stove? Water from pipe? What this? Sacre bleu! This is my kitchen now. And this thing you call food? I say ha ha ha. I say ha to your food. Ha ha ha. Ha, 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 ha. Whoa, whoa! Can't we just settle this like peaceful adults? We, oui, we shall have a duel. Actually, I was thinking of something along the lines of a cooking contest. May we? A cooking contest. Winner stays. The loser, she go bon voyage. Okie dokie. We just need a food judge. Mauricia, this is your chance. Yeah. Maybe if I play it just right, we can get Miss Mush back. Let the cook-off begin! Yay! Remember, Miss Mush's food tastes great. It tastes great. Okay, our judge will taste two meals and choose Le Chef. <laughs> I mean, a winner. First up, the winner! I mean, Le Chef! Come on, Mauricia. Just wipe that smile off your face. <laughs> <clears throat> Not bad, but I've been served by better. You have? You're kidding me. Wow. All right, bring on that other, um, stuff. <laughs> Come on, Mauricia. Don't choke now. Mm -hmm. Delicious! She said delicious. We have a winner. No, not good enough. I want rhymey rhyme from pickle stepping pony head, like she make for Frenchy fry cook. Or I go back and make millions of money on internet. Did you say millions? Come on, Mauricia, you can do it. But I've never rhymed anything in my life until I ate Le Chef's first meal. It was just so inspiring. That Le Chef can cook, but he's a very mean man. On the other hand, Miss Mush can't cook at all, but she's the best cook ever. You know what I mean. Exactly. There's more to lunchtime than good lunch. <clears throat> I think that I shall never face a pile of mush with such a taste. It's got flavor, that's for certain. And my belly, it's a hurtin'. Yet yumminess is overrated. Sometimes the best food's created by one who knows not cooking art, but makes her food with lots of heart. You right. 
Miss Mush always cook with heart. And liver and other squishy bits. Okay, I come back, cook for you kids. Yay! What? Don't worry, I give you internet business. Okay, Le Chef, you're fired. You stinky face, you imbecile! Crazy people, get your stinking feathers off of me! Crazy, crazy people! Single last time to Mouton! Okay, I'm the boss now. Answer the phone. The phone. The phone. Phone. Phone phony. The phone. Mrs. J. The instruments you asked for. Thank you, Lewis. Now we can begin our music lesson. Rock the house, dudes. Yay! Now, class, please pick an instrument you'd like to play. Man, I love the tuba. I guess I'll try the guitar. Leslie, real cool. I'll play the abacus. Oh, my favorite, a theremin. <laughs> ha! That's nothing. Wait till you see me play my instrument, the locked box. <laughs> da 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 dum die. Got my locked box to play. My run, 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 die. I'll sing a song today. Da 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 dum die. Got my lock box to play. My run, 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 die. I'll sing a song today. Oh, thank you, Myron. That was wonderful. Hey, who broke my instrument? Oh, brother. Okay, class. Ready to play? But Mrs. Jules. My locked box! Cool! Ear earmuffs, so I can hear my wonderful music better. Hmm, what a funny flute! A one, a two. The 
strumpel floozle. In order for the sound to flow, place on nose and begin to blow. Oh, don't stop. I'm just trying to figure this funny flute out. Why is everyone spinning on their heads? Hello, are we gonna play more music? Hmm. Hey, it's you, my little nose flute. Every time I play you, you make funny things happen. Ooh, that's a new one. Cut it out! These will protect me from the Strumpelfruzel's cursed sound. It's on the 30th floor. Action, go! Action, go! Action, go! Action, go! Action, go! Action, go! So, let's see. Some songs make them act like chickens. And some songs make them act like... I say, love, how about a spot of tea and a scone? Oh, I say frighteningly good. Pip, pip. Oh, do be a dear and pass me the sugar bowl, please. But why, love? You're sweet enough already. <laughs> <laughs> Stop it! <laughs> <sighs> That's better. Hmm, I can actually control them with all these different songs I play. But what song does my nose have to play to turn them into my voting public? Ow! <sighs> Must complete mission. Oh no, it started. I've got to get that strumple floozle. Well, hello. Pardon me, uh, Mr. Uh, Mrs. Uh, uh, them is. Uh, <laughs> excuse me. <laughs> Action, go! Now this thing is gonna make me class president. Vote for me. <laughs> nope, vote for me. <laughs> That's not it. Vote for me! Huh, that's not it either. <gasps> Action, go! I mean, stop! Mr. Kidswater, nice earmuffs. Do you play the nose flute too? I do not. These ear earmuffs filter out the Strumpel Floozle's Ooh. hypnotic effect. Now, <laughs> unhand that Strumpel Floozle. Did you hear my funny playing? Look what it did to my classmates. Who? Oh, them. It's the cows I'm worried about. Ooh! Can I make them do funny things, too? You already have. And when they get funny, they get very, very funny. But in a funny way that's not at all funny! That's funny. <laughs> no, it's not! Look outside! <gasps> The Strumpel Floozel songs were designed to instruct the cows to build and demolish school buildings. And dare you play any other tune other than those? You shall reap this! Ow, ow, ow. Oh no! What have I done? That 
That thing has great power. And with great power comes... Great responsibility? No! A great songbook. You can't just play that thing willy-nilly, you know. You need to play certain songs. Wow! Each tune causes a different effect. Can I see the vote for me because I'm Myron and I should be class president song? Hmm. Is that one similar to I'm Principal Kitswater, King of Everything and the Kitchen Sink song? But first, we've got to play the Fix-It song that will stop this madness! Ah, here it is. Just give me a second to warm up. <coughs> 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 Me, 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 me. <clears throat> me, me. La, 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 la. <gasps> okay, I'm ready. Ah! <laughs> Mr. Kidswater, are you okay? Yes, hurry, play something, anything. <gasps> Something that rhymes with A. My Ron 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 DA. Mrs. Jules, I just had the strangest dream. We were acting like chickens and funny talking Englishmen, and the school was eaten by cows. Oh my, that was no dream. That's just something we here at Wayside call music lessons. You know what, Mr. K? It's not very funny making fun of your friends by making them do funny things. Hmm, funny. This strumple frusel is too powerful for any mere mortal. It must be returned to its rightful owner, for only they can wield its awesome power. Hey, Sammy, I don't care what anyone say about strumple frusel. I think it make best soup. Ha! Soup need more bubbles. Attention, students, attention. Why is Principal Kidswater crying on the PA? Again? Oh, he does this every year on La Boca Loca Day. <laughs> yes, Todd. Mr. Kidswater used to be a very famous Toreador. El Kid almost won Bullfighting's highest prize, the Golden Tail. He just needed to beat one more bull. La Boca Loca. The Crazy Mouth. Toro, Toro, Toro! Attention, crowd. Attention. Yes, I am the best. And that was the start of La Boca Loca Day. And the end of El Kid's bullfighting career. He never did get over it. To commemorate 
this solemn day. Just do whatever you want. I'm too depressed to care. <laughs> oh, children, this is so very sad. Yeah, but isn't there something we can do to help? Yes, there is, Todd. You can bring these make-me-happy flowers to Mr. Kidswater while we all cheer ourselves up at recess! Yeah! <laughs> Mr. Kidswater, we all thought some flowers would help cheer you up. No, no roses. They remind me too much of La Boca Loca. <laughs> Put them in the basement with the others. <laughs> That's that. The wishing well talks. Wishing well? Hey, free money. Oh, please, wishing well. Please grant me my wish. I just wish someone else in this school would dress up for Halloween like me. Steven, what are you doing? Wow! Nice buckethead costume, Todd. Oh, thank you, Wishing Well. Thank you. Hey, that well really works. Let me try. Oh, Wishing Well, I wish I could fly. <gasps> I flew, I flew. Thanks, Wishing Well. Catch, Eric. Here we go again. I'll get it, guys. We wish we had our bow back. Yay! Thank, Thank you, you, Wishing Well. Oh, Wishing Well, I love rules. I wish there were more rules around here. Ow! Hey, don't throw so hard. I won't throw so hard. Thanks, Wishing Well. <sighs> yeah! I wish I was smart. I wish I had a new bike. I wish for more wishes. Whoa! Props! Where are you? Todd, have you seen the props for the school play? I've been looking everywhere. Props? How'd you lose them? I have no idea. Hey, Myron, dude. When you're done putting away those props, there are some costumes to put away as well. Okay, Lewis. Hey, howdy, handsome. Looking pretty sharp, Myron. Why, thank you, Myron. <laughs> props? Where are you? Yoo-hoo! Come back, props! Myron, don't you see? That wishing well is made out of your stage props. What? There's a wishing well? Wow! I should make a wish to find my props! Oh, brother. <laughs> shoo, little people, shoo, shoo! Attention, wishing well, attention! I only have one minor simple wish. Uh-oh, this can't be good. I want a rematch with La Boca Loca. Who's Kids Water talking to? I'm talking to you, Wishing Well. And you'd better make my wish come true. Or I'll make every day La Boca Loca Day. <laughs> oh no! We can't have Principal Kids Water crying all the time. Don't worry, Myron. We won't let that happen. We've just got to make his wish come true. But how are we going to do that? That's it! Myron, you're brilliant! Are you thinking what I'm thinking? Uh, I think so.
Ole! Ole! Toro, Toro, Toro! <laughs> you win again, my frothy faced foe. I guess it'll be La Boca Loca Day. Forever. <laughs> oh no! It's terrible! Help, help! Who will save all of the senoritas? What will we ever do? Who could be brave enough to save us from that rampaging bull in the schoolyard? Rampaging bull? For the record, Todd, this wasn't what I was thinking before. I just hope Kid Swatter believes we're that crazy mouth bull. Hmm, La Boca's got a lot more zippers than I remember. But there's no mistaking that crazy mouth sound. <laughs> Ole! Ole! Ah, my wish! It has come true! Toro, Toro, Toro! <sighs> okay, Myron, let's make this look good. I'm way ahead of you, Todd. Oh, yeah! Looking good! <sighs> come on, let's go. Whoa! Would you move it? What? What? No, 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 right, right, right. Whoa! <laughs> Todd, do I have to be the end? Aha! I see my Toreador skills have weakened you. But the fight's not over until just one of us is left standing. So, Toro, Toro, Toro! Ole! Go, 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 go! Todd, I can't see! Where are we going? Yay! Myron, stop pushing so hard! Whoa! Ow! Come on, let's go! Myron! Hurry up! Ole! Right behind you, Todd! Ole! Myron, what are you doing? Myron, get back here! Huh? Whoa! What? Can this be? Mr. Kidswater, we can explain. No, I understand now. You, you do? do? Yes. For years, I've been haunted by my loss to La Boca Loca. But now I realize La Boca wasn't even a bull. Huh? Look at this. He was just some cheap costume. <laughs> All this time, I've been worrying about some fake bull. <laughs> Olé! I'm free! La Boca Loca Day is now the happiest day of the year! Yay! <laughs> Wait a hooey. If La Boca was only a costume, then who was inside of it all those years ago? I must go now and find the imposters! La Boca Loca! Was a fake? At least that wishing well is real. Myron, this is not a wishing well. It's a fake, just like the bull. It's your stage props all piled up. Hey, my stage props. I found them. Wow, that wishing well just made my wish come true too. Myron. Todd, you're not in your Halloween costume anymore. That fake well failed me. That, that wishing, wishing well was, was fake? fake? What about our money? We, we want, want a, a refund. refund! A refund? Now that's a wish I can grant you all. Yay! Olé! Yay! Yay!
so cool and crazy and wild and upside down. I'm bored and that's not fun. I wanna get away, but I'm too tired to run. I'm gonna find a place where there are no rules and the world is wild. I have the tools to make things happen and the reaction will explode. Nothing builds character more than hard work. Especially someone else's hard work. Right, Morton? Anything for you, Mr. Kid Swatter. And by the way, it's Myron. Right, Morgan. Hey, I'll give you even more extra credit if you find some room for my ice dancing trophies. Oh, what's in those filing cabinets over there? Hmm, important school records. Oh, those. Dump him, Milton. Myron. Whatever. <laughs> Mr. Kidswater, look! This old photo looks like Lewis, but he's short and has no chin whiskers. <laughs> it's Lewis's file from when he was a wayside student. <laughs> Pretty goofy looking kid, huh? That photo cracks me up every time. <laughs> it says here, did not graduate. What's this? <gasps> he never passed his final exam. Yay! Yay! Thank you. Dude. <laughs> Dude. Dude. Dude's turn. So, wait, my work here is done. You can say that again. Turn in your whistle, Lewis. You're no longer in charge of recess. <gasps> Will everyone please welcome our newest student to class? Lewis. Hey, student dudes. <gasps> Lewis is the best? There's a seat next to me, Lewis. Sit here. Lewis is so popular. I wish I was as popular as Lewis. Wait a second. That's it. So, Lewis, who'll be in charge of recess while you're here? I don't know, little dude. Not to worry, Lewis. I'll be glad to take over for you. What Myron means is, welcome to Mrs. Jewel's class. Thanks, but I'm just here for a little while. You know, until I graduate. What? You never graduated? Nope. And now I'm stuck here with you guys. Isn't that awesome? Yay! Settle down, children. And Lewis, please take your seat. Or I'll have to put your name on the discipline list. <gasps> ha, I'm just kidding. Isn't Lewis the greatest? Yay! Everyone loves Lewis. Lewis, Lewis, Lewis. And all he does is run recess. Anyone can do that. Whoa! Lewis! Lewis! Lewis? No, it's just me, Myron. And you need to put me in charge of recess so I'll be as popular as Lewis. Um, can you help me out here first, Martin? I seem to have uh, dropped my microphone. It's Myron. I can't wait until Lewis graduates. Everything is just falling apart around here. You're not helping, Melvin. Myron, and I know, but I wouldn't be here bothering you if I was in charge of recess. Get me out of this mess, and it's yours. The whistle's on my desk. Oh, goody! Woohoo! 
Welcome to recess, dudes. Since when are you in charge of recess? Since Mr. Kid Swatter gave me this. Uh, okay. But where's all the fun stuff? Gone. But I'm in charge and have a list of awesome recessing for you. Paint a portrait of Myron. Write a poem about Myron. Build a parade float of Myron. Sounds fun, right, dudes? Look what you can do with sidewalk chalk. Vote for me! Ugh, this is the worst recess ever. Yeah, do we even have a ball to play with? Most certainly do. It's my new promotional marble for my campaign. Vote for me. Here, Mauricia, catch. <sighs> Ooh, I'm getting so popular. Hey, I got an idea. Sorry, dude, but you're not in charge of recess stuff anymore. Sure, but recess isn't about stuff. It's about imagination. You want a ball? Think fast. Hey, a basketball. Cool. Mauricia, think fast. Duh, think fast. Hey, Myron, think fast. That imaginary bowling ball could have smushed me. Lewis makes everything better. Yeah, and that's why Lewis is the most popular person at Wayside. Yeah! Don't you agree, Myron? <laughs> Lewis! No, it's just me, Myron. Who? Oh, I need Lewis. My desk attacked me. I'll help, but you should really give Lewis his final exam and graduate him so I can go back to being the most popular person in class. Ah, <laughs> oh, that's better. Hey, I have an idea. Why don't we just give Lewis his final exam now? Let's go, Martha. It's Myron. Lewis has two folders? I can only give this final exam once a year, Lewis. If you don't pass this, you're stuck in Mrs. Jewell's class for 12 more months. So, please pass it, please! Did you get your head stuck in the desk drawer again? And the mic cable, too. It's okay, Mr. K. I'm ready to go. Not so fast, Lewis. Rules say I had to call the old teacher first. Okay, Mrs. Jules, send him in. Mr. Osteo. Whoa, long time. What subject was that you taught again? Math? Reading? History? A little subject I call... Survival! Bummer. On your mark, get set. The clock is ticking. What is the square root of 64? Eight. When was America discovered? 1492. What is the Pythagorean theorem? A squared plus B squared equals C squared. Correct! What is the world's largest animal? The blue whale. Name the three states of matter. Liquid, solid, gases. Who invented the donut? Captain Hanson Crockett Gregory. Okay, where's the chalk? Chalk? Quick, get some chalk from Myron. Myron? I haven't seen that dude in hours. Not that Myron, that Myron. Okay. Hurry, Lewis, you're running out of time. Let's see, uh, 14 over 6 divided by 900. <gasps> no! <sighs> oh, no! Now we're not going to have recess with Lewis for a whole year. 
Well, look on the bright side. It's only for a year. <sighs> Wait! Louis did graduate! I found his real folder when I was in Mr. Kitswater's filing thing. Let me see this real folder. You're right! Louis did graduate! So, whose folder is the red one? Dude, this doesn't look anything like me. <laughs> Myron, how could you possibly think that is a picture of Lewis? That kid has a mustache. That's a mustache? Let me see that. It's, 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 it's me! Isn't that great, Lewis? You did graduate! Yay! And that means Mr. K didn't graduate. So now he has to do the test. What? On your mark, get set. Go! What is the square root of 64? There goes. When was America discovered? 1972. What is the Pythagorean theorem? Elemental B. Ah. <laughs> Well, Lewis, I believe this belongs to you, the most popular person for the job. And thanks for covering for me, Myron. So, who's up for some recess? Yeah! Help! of me. I've got this new photo album. Want to see? Sure. Maybe later? Then it's a date! Huh? Hey, wait up! Fluffy? Fluffy? Hmm. I guess he's inside already. You are fluffy. I'm just rearranging some photos. Hmm? <sighs> Can you hold this for a second? Pictures in this great new album, Fluffy. Fluffy? Where did Fluffy go? Fluffy? Fluffy, where are you? You're not Fluffy. Hmm. Oh, my new Super Big Wig 3000 toupee! Just in time for my jumbo speech to the principal's meeting today. There will be no stage fright tonight once I hide a few minor bold spots. Oh. Hey, looking good. So much better than I expected. Why, I must look 20 years younger. Ooh la 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 la! Hmm. 
But he was growling at me, kind of like this. Great! You speak porcupine perfectly. You gotta help me find him. Huh? Hey! Hmm. <laughs> Maybe I should go downstairs and give this wig a trim. Hey! Whoa! 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 <laughs> Hmm, that's odd. No! Who knew the Super Big Wig 3000 would have so much horsepower? Fluffy! Where are you? Well, aren't you gonna speak porcupine? <sighs> rawr, rawr. Fluffy! 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 Whoa! <laughs> Oh, Mr. Kidswater, I was just looking for Mauricia's porcupine. You haven't seen it, have you? Hmm, a porcupine, hmm? Let me think, hmm. Yes, I think I have. Um, Mr. K, you just said you think you have, but you're shaking your head no. Oh, so I am. Guess I haven't then. Mr. Kidswater, you look different today. Younger? Smarter? More handsome? Huh? No, just different. Oh, what do you know? Go back to class, both of you. I need a moment alone. <laughs> Mr. K, I'm sorry, but I thought you wanted to be alone. Yes, I did. Now go on, back to class. Oh, look out! Oh! Hey, hey now! What the hell now? Put your back, put your back! Look, hey, what? Hey, hey, get, whoa, get, here we go, whoa, 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 whoa. Ah. 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 <gasps> Mr. K, your hair, it's fluffy. <laughs> yes, it is fluffy, isn't it? Ooh, who that hot young hunk with head of pointy passion? Oh, Miss Mush, you're such a flirt. Wish I could stay, but I must prepare for my big speech at the principal's meeting today. I'll be pure dynamite with zero stage fright. Ah. Uh, a little help here, please? Ooh, I get idea. So, Todd, anyway, after we find Fluffy, I thought we could celebrate by holding hands. What do you think? Todd? Todd? I've lost Todd! <laughs> Did you find Fluffy? No, and now Todd's gone too! <laughs> Don't worry, we'll find them. Whoa, whoa. Whoa, whoa, whoa. This no work too good. I go get Blowtorch. Mauricia, I know where Fluffy is. Oh, thank goodness. Thanks. No problem. Now let's go. Hey, where'd Bucket Boy go? All the principals for every school in the area are here. What am I going to do? What am I going to do? What do I say in my speech? <laughs> Super Big Wig 3000 toupee? Don't fail me now. Oh. Huh? Ow! What was that? Wait a minute. A sharp pain in my head. That must be what a brilliant idea feels like. Ha! Who needs a speech when you've got brilliant ideas and amazing hair? Yow! My hand just had a brilliant idea, too! Only people
people allowed in there are principals. Hmm. Exactly. Whoa! Say, you're new here, aren't you? Yes. <clears throat> uh, yes, I'm Principal Todd Swatter. <clears throat> well, pleased to meet you, Todd Swatter. And can I say, that is some great hair. <laughs> attention, attention, attention! And now, the Honorable Principal Kidswater! Thank you, Bill. Actually, it's Roger. Roger Wilco, over and out. Good morning, Wigs. I have gathered here to pay to express my deepest boldness. And I hope we can comb over any problems and hair plug the future. I mean, uh... <laughs> Fluffy! Oh, Fluffy, I've been looking all over for you! I missed you so much! <laughs> Excuse me, Principal Talking Pants, but could you stop your waistline from chatting up my hair? That's not your hair, Mr. K. That's Mauricia's porcupine on your head. <gasps> Nonsense! You're just jealous of my youthful allure. Especially with that cheapo rug on your scalp. Oh, I'm sorry for not paying more attention to you, Fluffy. You're my best friend ever. Look at this new photo album I made of us. I used the other one for my old pictures of Todd. <gasps> my hair! <laughs> I love you so much. Please, never, ever run away again. <laughs> I'm not gonna blow it next year at the principal's meeting.